Hey, how's everybody doing? We are now live. Yes, we are. Oh, well, Mike here from Bush Green. Saturday night, and uh, just gonna have a little bit of a chit chat, just waiting for some people to come in here. So we have some uh, some people lined up to uh, talk about uh, lawn care and business, and pretty much open to uh, talking about anything you really want. So, so yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here and talk to myself <laughs> while I wait for uh, anyone to uh, come in. Maybe nobody will show up. Guess we'll see. So, yeah, here we are. And uh, East Tennessee Lawn Care. How you doing, bud? I'm good, man. Just uh, fired up the live here a couple of minutes ago. Just waiting for some more people to come in. So we got an open panel tonight. I don't know if you've uh, been in one of mine before. I've only done a couple before this. But it's kind of laid back. We just sit back and uh, chit chat about uh, lawn care and business and whatever else comes up. So feel free if you want to join in or if you have any questions or, yeah. Well, welcome everybody. Appreciate everybody coming in here. So, get a couple in here right now. So I will put a link up and anybody is welcome to join. So just give me a second here. All right. Can you guys hear me okay? Just want to make sure you can hear me. No, I haven't started mowing yet. Um, it's still pretty wet here. Uh, it's been a pretty dry day today, but it's still wet because we had a lot of rain uh, uh, Friday. Um, I tend to start usually mid-April to end of April, going into May. Like, it tends to be... It's really weird weather here because I'm in Ontario, Canada, uh, just west of Toronto. And uh, uh, we usually have a lot more snow than we do right now. Like, it's actually pretty mild. Like, we have really mild temperatures. Uh, we don't have any snow right now. But uh, we're getting a lot of rain, and the grass is starting to grow, so I might be starting earlier. But normally, uh, I'll start up mid-April to end of April, beginning of May. So I I'm itching to start. You know, I'll just... I'm gonna do my uh, my 2020 uh, uh, lawn care setup video soon. Just waiting for it to dry up a little bit more, just so I can put the mowers on the lawn and, and spread everything out and, and show you guys uh, how I'm set up. Which uh, you know, I have I don't have any lawn care videos yet. I, I started doing these videos uh, um, in December there. So okay, we got somebody coming up here. East Tennessee Lawn Care. How you doing, bud? Good. You? Good. Can't hardly hear you. No. Okay. How about that? Yep. Sorry, I just turned up my volume. What, what's I, your name? Yeah. What, what's your name? Mikey. Massey. Mikey. Oh, Mikey. Yeah. Michael. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's my really name's... Michael. It's real. Go ahead. Yeah, my name's Mike too. 
<laughs> yeah, it's really Michael, but I go by Mikey because I have an uncle named Mike. Oh, okay. It, it's funny because uh, if, so MRP, I'm the one. if MRP right now comes so in, we're gonna, we're, we'll have three mics in the panel then. Oh, okay. <laughs> what were you going to say there, Mike? Yeah. Mikey? Oh, okay. I was going to say, uh, yeah, I'm the one in the family that they call Little Mikey. Oh, okay. Well, it's nice to Have meet you. Have you started mowing yet? No, I haven't. I, I don't know if you heard me talking there when you asked me the question there. Uh, we're, we're still I pretty... Did. Oh, okay. We're still pretty wet here. I'm in uh, Ontario, Canada. And uh, yeah, I usually start maybe mid-April to end of April, beginning of May. Uh, it's just the ground is too wet, you know. I don't want to be uh, rutting up the lawns, you know, and you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, what about you? Oh, you're still cutting. You're in Tennessee, right? Yeah, I mowed. I mowed uh, seven today. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking forward. And to, it was uh... wet. Yeah, go ahead, Mikey. Sorry. I'm on. I'm on my phone and it's breaking up on my end, and it, my phone don't get the best reception either. Okay, no problem. Yeah, there there might be a little bit of a delay too. Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave it. Okay. All right, we lost Mikey. Hey, Tall Grass, how you doing, bud? Yeah, everybody's uh, welcome to join in here, and uh, we can talk about lawns. We can talk about what's been going on in the world. I just don't like talking about politics or anything like that. But uh, yeah, feel free to uh, to come on in here. Oh, I just got to fix something here because my face is getting all blurry. Just give me a second here. Change the uh, definition here. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Tall grass, he's still here. Yeah, so we had uh, we had nice weather today. It was uh, sunny all day, a little bit cool. Um, but yeah, we still don't have the uh, the right temperatures to get starting started with uh, grass cutting. Um, could probably start doing some garden cleanups here and there too. Um, I, I am going to do an estimate tomorrow for a leaf cleanup. <laughs> well, he said he did a leaf cleanup in the fall, but uh, it's a big property out in the country, so I'm going to go have a look. Those kind of cleanups in the, in the spring kind of suck when the leaves are all wet and soggy and gumming up in, in your collection systems. And yeah, it's just a lot more work, you know. I'm just got to make the customer understand that it's a lot more work and, you know, and have to pay for that. So yeah, I welcome everybody uh, in my stream here. There we go. Okay, my thing just caught up here. Yeah, I think it's behind by. Oh, maybe I'll catch up soon. Yeah, tall grass. Minnesota lawn and landscape. How are you doing, Sean? Your face is always blurry. LOL. I know. I might as well just uh, cover it right up. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is. I got a brand new camera here. Uh, I turned off my space heater that's beside me because I thought maybe uh, the heat or something coming up is doing. I keep on changing the uh, the definition of the, or the, uh, what do you call it? Here, hold on, you have to look in here. Right now it's on high definition, the camera resolution. Uh, I'm going to put it on low definition now. I think I'm going to go you know, super close up now. So this is low definition. But uh, yeah, anyway, I posted a link there. I don't know if you guys can see that. If uh, you're more than welcome to uh, join in if you want, if you can. We can uh, talk about whatever you feel like talking about. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll try and answer them. You know. So yeah, so it's kind of nice. We got five, uh, five in here right now watching. So what's everybody up to today? Tall grass, are you uh, cutting grass yet? 
I can't remember where you're located. Maybe you can uh, let me know where you're located again. I remember a lot of people, well, especially if it's in your name. But uh, oh, DLT Shane, Shane is in the house. How you doing, bro? Yeah, tall grass. Where, where are you located again, bud? I know Shane's cutting grass already. So, oh, we got Matt in the house. What's up, brother? Okay, here we go. We got uh, Mike from MRP coming in. How you doing, Mike? I'm good. How are you? Good, buddy. Okay, and we got one other person coming in right now. We have a special guest. And there he is. How you doing, Shane? Hmm. What's up? Hey, Shane. How are you? Oh, uh, cold. Cold, cold, man. We went out and mowed a yard today. I actually have a video to put up later. Hmm. But... Uh, just haven't felt very good today. No. I, I want to introduce you, uh, Shane, to uh, Mike. So that's Mike from uh, MRP. Hey, hey Mike. Shane, how are you? Yeah, well, How's it going? He's yeah. been in some of my live streams there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so you guys have chatted before. So Mike's in uh, Canada, too. He's actually in Toronto, so he's about 40 minutes away from me. So... So have you been overrun by the Canadians, guys? <laughs> oh, <it's> a... <laughs> oh no! Just, just wait. Some other people are going to be coming in here soon. Um, have you, did, did you cut it all today, Sean? Shane? Just one. We we had one larger property. I cut. I kind of. I mean, you'll see the video. It 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 really didn't need cut, so to speak. But it's on the list and I wanted to get out and do something, man. I, th this quarantine thing is driving me crazy. As long as, you know, Justin kind of steers clear of me, he can go with me. He has to sit in the back seat. Uh, I just, I don't know, man, this whole virus thing is getting me down. For the simple fact, people cannot find out fast enough. I mean, my sister-in-law took the test going on over 72 hours ago. She should have known by now. Uh, it's not influenza A or B. It's not strep throat. So there's only one other thing. And why the delay in the test is amazing to me with with the severity of this and I don't know if you guys have seen it on the internet, but there are guys out there doing videos of them going through grocery stores, being infected, walking up to old people and coughing. Yeah. And I, this is sick, man. Oh, it's terrible. People need to be arrested for that. Yeah, I heard about that today. That's uh, that's terrible. Just teenagers going up to people, <clears throat> coughing in their faces, and you know, making a joke out of this. This isn't a joke. No, yeah. because an older folk, older people can die from this very easily. Yeah, one hundred percent. You know, you have a, a low immune uh, system or uh, you know respiratory problems uh that the second death in ontario mike uh you did you hear about that it was in milton yeah i heard about it yeah it's a 50 year old he's a local musician i don't know him personally but i i, I do know who he played with in other bands because i play in bands too it's terrible like he, he did have respiratory problems uh, he was in milton hospital and then went to oakville and passed away there so that was the second death in ontario and it was in our town I went in today, uh, well, I posted a new video there. I helped out a friend there. He's in quarantine for uh, a couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, it's just Walmart, everybody, uh, you know, just stay away. I, I, I tried to stay my distance from people. You know, I wore gloves when I went in there and just to grab a few things. But as long as we all do our part and do our social distancing, you know, just, mm. you know, and uh yeah, wash your hands, right? That's that's the biggest thing, you know. If you don't have hand sanitizer, just wash your hands properly. That's all. That's all it takes, right? Mm. Yeah. I think the social. I, I, I think the social distancing is the main part. Oh, 100 percent. And you got to be careful with Justin. Like you, you mentioned, he he was in your truck with you. 
Yeah, you got to be careful, man. Does Justin uh, have his own vehicle? He does, but, you know, here, here's the, the part about it that him and I talked about today. The day that we've got the news that my sister-in-law possibly may have had that, he had already been in the truck with me for three solid days before that. Oh, no. And so, you know, we when we actually go to the same, I, I actually got him an appointment two years ago with my doctor. So we go to the same doctor and I, you know, Sarah said, look, it's probably going to be the same advice. Stay away from people. And, you know, I, I stopped in to get a can of uh, chew today at the local gas station, the lady in front of me was six feet away from the, the guy in front of her. And I was six foot away from her. The people behind me, it looked like a domino. They were stuck together. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, folks, this is a serious problem right now. And the only defense we have is each other. Yeah. So whether you've got to walk around and kind of go off to your own, don't stand there right up against somebody because you don't know. Yeah, I know. Oh, it looks like uh, Tallgrass is uh, leaving. Take care, everybody. Maybe I'll be back. See you, man. What's his name, Matt? Oh, I was talking to Matt MG. Okay. I can't remember Tallgrass's name. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we just, we all got to do our part, you know, just, and help people too, you know, people in need, you know, like there's a lot of elderly people that can't get it, you know, or they're scared to get it because, you know, they, they're they uh, more of a magnet to it, right? So if you know somebody or whatever that needs help, just go ahead and grab a few items, drop it off on their front porch for them, you know, little nice gestures, right? So... I helped out a friend today. He came back from, uh, I don't know if you guys seen my uh, video I posted today, but he came back from uh, the UK and he was in Paris. So just before Paris or France shut down everything, the day before he was sightseeing, he was in the Eiffel Tower and all that. And then the next day after that, they shut down everything. So he luckily did get back because a lot of people are having problems getting back into their home country, right? which uh, Canada, I heard there's upwards to 4,000 people still trying to get back home and they're having problems because of uh, flight cancellations and there's only certain airports that will uh, take international flights. So anyway, he, he came back and he has to stay in a hotel because he has a, a family member at home uh, that um, is sick and can catch it very easily, you know, uh, people. So he has to stay in a hotel now for two weeks which is sad. So other people have helped him too. Uh, I grabbed a few items that I know he likes, you know, and yeah, I made a video about it. Just basically not a video about doing that, but more or less showing people what we should all be doing if you can do it, you know, just help somebody. Yeah. That, that's very nice of you to do because um, we don't have a lot of people around our area that can bring us groceries or, you know, now we were told by our doctor that we were allowed to go to the grocery store, but I really don't want to get close to anybody. And it seems as though here in America, people have not listened to a word anyone has said. And when you go into a public area, I don't care if there there's a hundred yards between you, they find their way right up to you. Yeah. And it doesn't make any sense to me. I know uh, right now, while Bill got diagnosed with strep throat today, he's not doing well. Yeah, he's he's here in the house right now listening to us. How you doing, Bill? Yeah. I'm good, Bill. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I find the stores here are a little bit more stocked now. So I think all the, uh, the hoarders, all the people that rushed out in the uh, mad panic, I think they're all stocked up now and everything's slowly getting back to normal. Like I noticed today, like we do our majority of grocery shopping at Walmart grocery section there. And uh, I, I just walked through the can section and pretty much everything was restocked. 
Um, there's toilet paper on the shelf too and everything. So at least that calmed down now, you know? So I'm sure a, lo a lot of people out there have tons and tons of toilet paper and canned food and, you know, people panic, right? Don't panic, you know, just relax. You know, we're all in this together. Let's work through this, right? That's, you know, that is the, the thing that is, that if there's anything good that has come out of this, people are starting to be a little bit kinder, a little bit gentler, thinking about the older folks a little bit more, willing to give a hand to people. And I think it's a great thing. And I hope that when this virus is over, I hope people continue to be like that towards each other. Yeah, I guess we'll see, right? I don't know. What about you, Mike? Have you uh, been out and about, or? Yeah, I've been um, quoting uh, five five commercial properties uh, yesterday, nice. and today I quoted two commercial properties. Um, I'm trying to keep my distance away from the management, from everybody. You know, I just said stay inside the building. Uh, give me your email address. Give me everything, you know, and. Um, <coughs> I will, you know, I'll get back to you as soon as possible, right? Yeah. And I did all my quotes, and uh, everything everything turned out to be okay. I managed to get uh, the five apartments uh, yesterday. Uh, nice, I nice. got five five new apartments. Is that the one in Oakville? Or? <clears throat> one, is, one is in Oakville, and the rest are in Toronto. Okay. So it's really close. It's really close to our house where we live in, right? Perfect. It's yeah. always nice. It's always nice when they're that local. Yeah, and I also quoted one warehouse yesterday. I made a video about it on Instagram. Uh, I got I got that one for a hundred a hundred dollars a week. Oh, nice. Yeah. So nice, it's, nice, man. Yeah. yeah. So is it's that, okay. It's working out pretty good. Is it you just know, a straight it, cut or or uh, pruning and stuff too? No, no. It's just uh, that price. <laughs> our our prices. Are, are 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 separate or individual just straight mowing edging blowing and trimming that's one whole price yeah. the other price is you know trimming bushes doing that kind of stuff every price has has a has a separate every service is separate for us that's how i work yeah i think that's a smart way to do it like uh, mike knows uh i, I am that's interested in getting get money. Uh, yeah, I, I am interested in getting more commercial. Um, I just wanted to build my residential first and uh, just get into the swing of things. I know commercial is a totally different world. Um, commercial and, commercial, is, commercial is where the money is at in lawn care and snow removal. I think so, now too. Now, see, here, here in the U.S., you can't make diddly squat off commercial. Hmm. Really They're slow pay about every 90 days. Yeah. And now look, some guys can, don't get me wrong, but the majority of it is very, it's cutthroat here. You still have guys coming in. Let's say it's a gas state or let's say it's a, like a Walmart type deal. Yeah. You'll have guys coming in quoting mulch as, as low as $75 a yard with install and everything. Yeah. Okay. That's low. And that is, yeah. Wow. Yeah, well, like uh like I told you, Mike, you know, we're we're trying to keep, you know, two hundred and fifty to three hundred clients so we're trying to keep this year. Okay. Last year we had two fifty. Yeah, yeah. How many guys worked for you, Mike? Four. Oh, sorry. Oh. Two trucks. Oh, you're both Mike. <laughs> yeah, we're both Mike. Hey, earlier I had another mic before Mike came in. Uh, I was oh, trying to get. Oh. I was trying to be the first one to have three mics in one stream. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're gonna have to change your name, Shane. I'm sorry, it's Mike. Uh, is that your <laughs> <gentleman? laughs> 
yeah, I uh, I am interested in uh, starting up with the commercials. Uh, I am solo still. I'm going to stay solo now because of uh, everything that's going on with the uh, coronavirus now. I don't want to hire yeah. anybody. Um, I, I'm okay to go solo right now. I'm okay to get a lot more residentials and still be solo. I can handle it. I can handle probably up to about 60 by myself um, just because my yards are so close together. Um, like when I, yeah, when, when I do my neighborhood, like where I live right now, I, I don't go any farther than two kilometers uh, for 18, 15 to 18 yards. And I'm telling you, like when, when you only got to like when you can do two and park in one spot and then you only have to drive like two minutes to the next one. Like that, that's pretty good. I know uh, you don't get great fuel economy starting and stopping your truck all the time like that, but um, you know, it, it, it's not bad. You can do so many in eight hours, you know, which is great. I'm not working 14, 15 hours a day, you know? Yeah. I'm all over the map. <laughs> oh, I know you are. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, I, I told you the last time there that I, that, that one friend of mine that's out of town uh, they actually went with somebody. Did I tell you about this, Mike? I don't think Shane no. knows about this. Um, friend of mine, they they moved out of town, uh, and uh, I'm not going to mention their name or anything or whatever. But uh, I, I was. It started off as a favor, right? And like, yeah, okay. When I got my big equipment, yeah, I can do your property. It's it's almost it's almost an acre. It's a lot of work. There's a big ditch and there's a lot of leaves to clean up in the fall. So I kind of gave them the uh, family and friend discount price, right? Which which was pretty good. So anyway, they went with another company this year. So <laughs> you uh, they they uh, they kind of you know what they kind of did me a favor at the same time, and I was thinking about it last year too. That it's like shit, you know, like I, I I gotta stop. I'm too nice of a person to people, you know. And you, can, and gotta, you can't be nice. You can't be I, nice to them, right? You just have to stay a distance away from them. You can't be friends with your uh, with your clients. You have to you have to be professional with them. Well, yeah, the, the, the thing is, yeah, you got to be professional. So you got to separate your friendship and, and your, your business, okay? So, yes, you're friends with them, but you when you're doing it, and I'm learning and I'm getting better at this now, that you got to yeah. stick to business. This is what your plan is. This is what you charge for this yard. And the reason why you charge for this is because you have all these costs to get there yeah. to do it for the season and all that. So they kind of did me a favor because now I'm focusing more on having more closer ones. So anyway, a positive out of this, I got one for uh, more. Uh, so what, what theirs was worth, what I lost, I got one now five minutes away from my home. Cause we, we have a nice neighborhood. There's really big lots, like almost acre lots in the middle of town. It's, it's like you're in the country, but you're in the middle of town. And uh, this one pays a lot more than that one that I lost. And I'm only driving five minutes to get to that one. So it's great. You know, so, you know, you always have to throw a positive in there and I just don't let it bother you and you just carry on. And my phone's going to ring again. So you just got to move on, right? It's true. Uh, well, you know, I told you, Mike, if, uh, if I do get anything in Milton, like a commercial property in Milton or anything, then, you know, I could, uh, I could hand it over. No problem. Yeah, and I, I really appreciate that. I'll work along with you because uh, in the past I have gotten calls for uh, properties in Mississauga, Brampton, and I won't go it that way. You know, just for mm -hmm. me to go that way and come back, it's just just the traffic, the time, and everything, and it's just it's not feasible for me to do. Yeah. So, one hundred percent, man. Well, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time going to Brampton or Mississauga for you for just uh, one property, right? And I got almost seventy percent of my business is in Brampton and Mississauga, right? Exactly, exactly. And uh, like I told you today when we we're chatting, whatever. Uh, like, if you do have an estimate in Milton, let me know. I'll meet you. You know. Well, and, like my commercial prices, I don't, I don't go under a hundred dollars a week. That's what I do. I don't go under anything like that. Yeah, that, that makes sense. And then, you know, if there's uh, gardens and shrubbery to trim and stuff, that's, that's a separate extra. price. That's, that's a separate a, price. Okay, so totally separate. So do you do a one yeah. contract with both prices in there, or do you do a lawn contract um, and, and shrub I, contract? I do. I do contracts summertime, but uh, I'll have to show you. I do contracts uh, summertime, uh, but I – I don't. I don't include the shrubbery jobs, the mulch, 
and the tree trimming or what else do we also do? Fall spring cleanups, right? Yeah. Everything is separate. Uh, Sorry to interrupt you. I got to head out. I got to get my video done, but I will talk to you guys soon. If you're still in here, I'll be back. Yeah, we'll be All here right. for a few hours, Shane. And uh, thanks right. for coming in, man. All right, see yeah, you later, I'll be Shane. back. Okay, buddy. See you, man. Yeah, take care. See you later. Bye. Right. Yeah, yeah, but uh, every single price is, uh, is, is separated. Everything, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Otto, are you still in here? Yeah. Um, I was going to say something. I can't remember now. Yeah, you know, yeah, that makes sense to, to separate everything. So this is your mm -hmm. cost for your, your grass cutting. Uh, yeah. with, with your uh, trimming, like when you're doing shrubs and, and stuff like that, do you do it uh, every time you mow or is it once a month or three times a year? It, it depends of how fast they grow, right? If they, if, if I see it's getting like out of whack, then yeah, okay, I'll contact the, the client and I'll tell them that we're doing the trimming right now and you'll get charged for it. Yeah, yeah. Right? I see. Yeah, I just want to say bye to Bill. Thanks, Bill, for coming in. If you can come back later, uh, we'll, we'll probably be here for a few more hours. See you later, Bill. Yeah, Otto's still in the house. Otto, if you want to join the panel and uh, if you got something to talk about, we're open to. Uh, I actually personally know Otto. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, and, and he is in Canada too. He's not far from us. Really? Yeah. Oh. He he doesn't do uh, lawn care, but. Oh, is that the guy that does the does the <laughs> architecture work? I'll, I'll leave it up to him if he wants to come in here or uh, or type something out. Uh, who he is? I'm not sure uh, if he wants to disclose who he is. Mm. Special it's not, agent. It, yeah, it, it's nothing bad. <laughs> like, it's nothing bad. Don't worry. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. But uh, yeah, no. Um, getting back with the commercial stuff, like what I was uh, talking to you about earlier. But yeah. yeah, like very easily. Yeah, you're right. Stick with my one trailer. Don't go and rush and buy a trailer. I'm not going to do that right now. But if it came well, down to it, me. yeah, if it came down to it, I I have two trucks already. So. I'm yeah. okay. I'm okay there. And now I'm not in a rush to get another truck. Uh, getting a trailer is is pretty easy, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, I can get a used one for pretty cheap. Um, yeah. I'd love to get an open trailer. Like I have one enclosed now. I'd love to have an open. But the thing is, with open, uh, I want to keep all my stuff on the trailer, and I don't want to have to always take everything out. <clears throat> well, the, the, the problem with open trailer is that um, yeah, okay, people see your lawnmowers, and you know. It's nice and neat, but yeah. every every day you're parking the the trailer, your lawnmowers are there. You're always worried, right? It's not yeah. safe. No, it's no. Safe. And uh, hold, hold on, I just want to say something to Otto. Otto, I uh, I just posted a link there. I know I don't think he's used Streamyard before. If you click on that link, just follow the instructions. It's very easy, and uh, you'll pop up here, and then uh, I can decide if I bring you up or not. You don't come up automatically. I'll see you first, and then uh, then I bring you up. It's up to you, buddy, if you want to come up. Um, yeah, with the open trailer, uh, if we do end up moving, because um, we're looking for a country property, I want to have a shop eventually. I want to have a big enough, big enough shop that I can fit a trailer or two in there, like for storage at least for the winter. Or if I have an open trailer uh, or get an open trailer, then every night I can back it in there or drive it in there. Uh, are ideally, you thinking, ideally are you about uh, selling your house or no? Yeah, uh, we've been looking for the last uh, almost two years now. Wow, that's uh, long. Yeah, hold on there. Oh, Bill's still here. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll just finish what I'm talking about, and then I'll answer you there, Bill. Um, yeah, we, we've been looking for the last couple of years now. We're really patient. Like, we don't need to move. Uh, would I like to move? Yes, uh, because I need more room. I'm paying for two parking spots right now at a storage facility. I only have a single garage. Um, I don't know where I'm going to park my zero turn now because I'm going with the two stand-ons in my trailer. Yeah. So uh, I got to make like, I think I'm just going to make a, a quick makeshift shed, like with uh, some two by fours and kind of, you know, do an A-frame and put a tarp over it or something. And just like a hot, it right? Yeah, yeah, just, just to protect it from the sun and from the, 
the weather, right? The yeah. and stuff just for now, right? And it's pretty safe in my backyard too. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, the ultimate goal is to get a bigger property. Um, I would love to have a shop that has a door on both ends that you can drive in one end, park, drive at the other end when you leave again. Yeah. Um, I've, I've seen them around here. Um, you can have the metal buildings built. You can have them built, right? Um, we do we do have a little bit of uh, savings for that to do that. So yeah, we're we're just waiting for the right property to come up. Um, a, a lot of the houses are just super nice ha homes, and they're expensive properties because of the homes, right? We're okay to, ha to have a little house. Like my house right now, it's about just under fourteen hundred square feet, thirteen fifty. And I grew up in a small house. I'm used to being in a small. We we don't need a mansion. We don't need a big house. So it's a perfect house. Yeah, exactly. You know, if, if we could just find the property that has at least an acre or more, uh, mm. no neighbors right beside you that can see what you're doing. You know, I, I just want some privacy and uh, just a little house, even if it needs work, I'm, I'm fine with that. And if it doesn't have a shop, then I'll, I'll have one built. Great. Like, yeah, it'll be awesome. Uh, Bill, I just want to answer his question. I use Echo. I use uh, Echo also. Yeah, Mike uses Echo too. Uh, I know Shane is all steel, except for one uh, hedge trimmer or two. He uses Echo. I was bugging Shane about that stuff, but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I have one steel trimmer, but we're I sponsored by Echo too. Oh, sorry, what's that? We're sponsored by Echo too. If you look at yes. our uh, our website. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We are. So uh, we get lots of money from Echo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, what was I saying there? Yeah, I have one steel trimmer. Um, I just thought, you know, what the hell? I'm gonna let, let's just try it. Out. I wanted to get a, what do you call a, what do you call the trimmers that have the attachments that you can take on and off? Shit, there's a, um, there's a, edgers. No, there's a name for the actual trimmer that you can put attachments on and take them off. So anyway, I, I wanted one of those trimmers that you can put different attachments on and take it off, right? So. Mm -hmm. Um, I like my Echo trimmers, and I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll try a steel. So I bought the steel, uh, what is it, the 95 or something like that. Um, mm. it's, it's the average one that most landscapers buy. I don't like it, to be honest with you, as a line trimmer. It's heavier than my Echo's. It feels awkward. I think it's just because I'm so used to using Echo. Um, but I really like it with the uh, hedge trimmer attachment on it. So for some uh, it, it just feels stable. I, I do have a hedge trimmer, like an 18 inch uh, Echo. But, uh, you know, when you're going out in, in a big bush and you're leaning over, your, your shoulders start killing after a while holding that machine. And um, ha having that hedge trimmer attachment on the uh, trimmer, so you can kind of put the trimmer under your arm, you, you know, you have more balance with it. Yeah, you can do a lot more. So I use that steel trimmer more for the attachments. I have the uh, the edger the one that you do uh, between the sidewalk and lawn to, to cut a nice edge. I have a, a garden, uh, what do you call them again? It, it, it kind of redoes the garden edge, you know, there, there's a name for it, but it's totally different than the uh, the other edger one. I can't think of the name of it. And I have the uh, hedge trimmer uh, attachment for it and the uh, line trimmer that goes on it. So I don't use that as a line trimmer. I only use it with the attachments. I use my, uh, I got the cheap uh, $300 uh, Echo, uh, what are they, the SM225s. You can buy them at Home Depot. And I'm telling you, they, they last me. Uh, I'm actually going to sell them off. I sell them uh, every two years and I get a new one because it's 300 bucks. You know, it's, it's paid for like pretty quick. Uh, those machines are really light. I don't need a super powerful trimmer. I'm comfortable with that. And it works for me. And yeah. Whatever you're comfortable with, right? Just keep on using that. Why change it? Yeah, the steel, the only product that I, that I use is the edger. It's the, only, uh, it's, the only, it's the only machine I use Yeah, for yeah. edging is steel. Yeah, so, so we're pretty much the same. So when you see my setup, I'm going to do a video soon. I, I got, uh, well, one echo's not running. Just can't figure it out. I, I put a new carb on it and all that. But it's pretty did old. You, uh, did you try out the Echo, the um, SRM 3020T, the newest yeah. one? I, uh, haven't I haven't tried any shit. other Echo that trimmers. Thing, yeah. That thing, that, that thing I, have a, uh, I have one of those on, the, on my trailer. 
that thing is powerful as hell. Holy yeah. shit. Look at what Sean just said there from Minnesota. Combi. That's the word I was looking for. It's called a combi. Hmm. Right? Um, the uh, the one with the attachments, right? Tremors. But uh, yeah, I've, I've only ever, I've, I, I got so used to using that echo and I got no problem with it. Guys that come work with me, they don't know any different. They, they like it. It's light. It's a really light trimmer. You know, it's easy to flip upside down. It's really comfortable to have upside down cutting your edges. You know, you use the you use the curve shaft or the straight shaft. Straight. Straight. Oh yeah, I don't like the curved ones. I don't know. This. Yeah, bad re redefined her. Thanks, Sean. See, Sean, Sean, come on in here, man. <laughs> the man, he he just picked up two more Walker lawnmowers. Super deals on them. I want to hear him oh. talk about them. Yeah, Sean, the link is uh, just up there. You should be able to see it. Where is it? Drew's in here too. But uh, yeah, you guys are welcome to come in here. Bill, uh, what's Bill saying here? MRP and Minnesota just subscribed to you. I thought I had you. Oh, that's all right. I'll add you back. Yeah. I'll add you. I'll yeah. subscribe to you. Wild Bill's a pretty cool guy. You, you watch his videos there, Mike? No, I haven't actually seen him. Yeah, he, he's uh, he, uh, he's he's quite the character. I, I like him. I, I I just yeah, he's got a pretty cool truck too, an old Ford, mm. which uh, yeah, which he got from a buddy. And uh, I think he's sick, so that's why he's not coming in here right now. I know Bill uh, Bill's dying to come in here on the panel and, and talk again. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do my uh, setup video soon and, uh, we'll see what I got there. Yeah. I'm going to start my fall spring cleanup middle of April, end of April. Yeah, I know. I'm going to wait too. Like I was just in my backyard today and, uh, I actually have some pieces that are, are grown pretty good, like two, three inches already. Um, my, my grass is pretty healthy. Like I fertilize it pretty good yeah. and stuff, but, uh, I, I don't want to run the lawnmowers on there yet. Cause it's still spongy. You walk on there. Mm -hmm. Like if, if you're sinking in with your feet and yeah, you, you don't want to put that 800 pound more thousand pound more on your lawn, you know, <laughs> we'll get it, stuck. It, yeah. Well, if anything, uh, if I do get a customer and I have done it and you'll see it, if I do a video with it, I'll use a walk behind, uh, on some properties at the beginning uh, that I would use a stand on on just for the mm -hmm. reason because it's still a little soft and I don't want to wreck it. So I'll take my time just to, and, and the customers appreciate that, right? And yeah. It takes a little more time, but then rather than for sake of argument, I don't want to have all these ruts everywhere and then I got to deal with that for the rest of the season, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, this uh, this coming Thursday, I'm uh, I'm getting the the truck uh, decaled. Oh, really? Yeah. So, what kind of I made, decal? I made, are you, I, are you I, doing? I, I made up my decision. It's uh, it's on my story on Instagram. Check it out. Is it? Okay. Yeah. When did you? It's really, uh, it's re it's really it's really nice uh, nice lettering. I I like I like the lettering. It's not like um, it's not like my trailer. It's like uh, it's like beautiful, like it's like an arch almost. So, is it like the font that that looks really nice, or? Yeah, the mm -hmm. font looks really nice. Yeah. 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 MRP Lawn Care font looks nice. So you kind of changed it up then. Yeah, I didn't go with logo. I didn't go with my logo on the truck because I have it on the trailer. So, I just mm -hmm. went. I just went with uh, with MRP Lawn Care and then my my website and my phone number. Oh, that's a great idea, man. You're you're gonna and oh, and commercial have, yeah. commercial residential properties also like what you have on yours. Yep. No, exactly. I was yeah. gonna say that. Put that on the bottom. Do you have grass or something and put it in there? Or, no. No. Maybe no. a little different. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You're you're gonna notice a huge difference. You you got what 250 uh, customers right now. You're gonna have 500 by the end of the year. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll have to start hiring like uh, <laughs> three or four trucks. Uh, I'm going to be working at Mississauga and Brampton then with you. <laughs> oh man! I'll I'll uh, I'll subcontract some uh, some some properties to you if you like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never know, right? So, yeah. 
Yeah, I got to see uh, where I'm going to be at. And uh, yeah, I, I got a whole bunch outstanding right now, but because of layoffs and all that, so everybody's yeah. holding off. I know commercial properties are still going to keep on going, right? So they need the shit done, right? And it has to look good for when yeah. they have tours or whatever. So I totally get where you're saying, man. Like commercial is the way to go. It is. Um, well, uh, like, um, like a DLT said, maybe not in the States, but in Canada for sure. That's uh, it's the way to go. Yeah, yeah. No, like I'm, I'm, I'm considering it. Uh, it's kind of like uh, when I started full time with my business, taking that risk. I quit my full time secure job, you know, with mm. a good pension. That's the feeling I have right now. Uh, <clears throat> switching and doing more commercial, you know, it's just that kind of fear, you know. And I, I know I can do it, you know. Yeah. And it's just that fear because now I got to hire people, right? And people don't work out all the time. And then when you're stuck with nobody because they didn't work out, and then you have all these big properties to do. You know what I mean? And, and that's just running in my head. But uh, just like uh, when I took that plunge and went full time with the business, I had to do the same thing and just look forward and don't look back and you just do it, you know? <clears throat> yeah, well, with, <clears throat> with commercial properties, you need, um, you need at least two or three guys working with you. Yeah, oh, 100%. And uh, I, I would, uh, for sure, like if I had enough commercial, I would definitely get another uh, trailer have one set up for co commercial, one set up for residential. Mm -hmm. Guys go out on residentials. I'll go out on commercials with a couple of guys, you know, and and that's it. You know, that's what we're that's what we're doing this summer. Yeah, great idea, man. Uh, Wild Bill here. He's saying that he has a curve echo and a straight bar steel trimmer. Yeah, okay. I have I have the curved echo also. Uh, my wife uses it. It's the it's a two two five. Uh, or a 255 um, engine and she and she loves it it's really it's really light and um, it's it's amazing I use the straight shaft also and I use the curved shaft so I use both a little bit usually usually on hills on really steep hills I use the straight shaft because uh, it works way better yeah how you doing Matt Matt's lawn care is in the house yeah I just posted the uh, link there, Matt, if you would like to join in. I know you uh, you do your own streams, too. You're more than welcome to come in here. We're, we're talking lines right now. So, hey, Mike, uh, how, how, much, how much are you thinking about selling your house for? Uh, right. You know what? Before this whole uh, um, coronavirus thing going on, our, our realtor – yeah, in February, she's like, it's hot market right now in our area, yeah. and we could probably put it up for about eight hundred and fifty uh, yeah. to nine to nine hundred thousand. And wow. that last, yeah, last year at this time, we would be lucky maybe to get seven fifty, seven thirty to seven fifty. So our, the area that I live in right now, it's original Milton. Um, it's not original, original old Milton, but it's the second generation old. And yeah. uh, it's a desirable area. Uh, my street is the last street from um, Second Street and then on Main Street and Courts, whatever. So it's a lot less traffic. Uh, we back onto no homes. Uh, we have industrial behind us, but it's super quiet. The businesses that are there, you can't hear them during the day. They don't work at night and they don't work weekends. So I would rather have that than another house right behind us, you know, looking in your yard. Um, and for that reason too, like the homes are worth a little more in my area here. So I took over this. I don't know if I told you I bought the house off my parents. So it's the yeah. house I, I grew up in, right? So we, yeah. we did a private deal back in uh, 2013 and I, I, so, I took over the home and yeah, I, I'm happy. Like we, we had a new built home before this, uh, semi, but you walk out on your porch, six feet away is the next porch. You know, everything was just super close together. And I just yeah. didn't like it. Like now being back here where I grew up, you know, there's just, there's more room. We have a bigger backyard. I think the lot is, uh, it's about 180 foot lot mm. and it's like in town. So it's pretty big for like in town here. So I, I know your way, uh, it's, it's pretty expensive too, even for the smallest. Ours, ours is like, uh, ours is like a million. You're looking around there. Yeah, the average in Toronto, that's what I see, is like million, million plus. And that's for like, what, a townhome, maybe? Um, not a townhome. It's uh, usually like a small little house. 
townhouses here go for like almost eight, eight fifty to nine. Yeah. Yeah, it's walker. crazy. Sorry, what's that, Mike? I see a walker. Yeah. Hey, Matt, you going to come in here, buddy? Yeah, mm -hmm. Sean's, Sean's showing off his uh, walker dealership. Mm -hmm. How many you got now, Sean? Three? They're for sale if you want them. <laughs> come get them. They're for sale. Hey, Mike, Sean, Sean picked up. Remember that walker I was telling you about in Michigan? I thought about going across the border and getting. Yeah, the good deal, right? Yeah, Sean picked it up. So the guy I'm met serious. Sean. Uh, he met him in Wisconsin. And, Sean, you, you can tell Mike uh, what you paid for that machine. <laughs> okay. So, okay, so that machine is this one here, okay? So, you know, um, you, you probably can't tell from the video or whatever, but, uh, you know, it's got a power dump here. Um, 48 inch deck. The maintenance hasn't been done that well. Um, let's see. Here is the. Uh, it's pretty dark in here. You can't tell, but it's got like 1,400 hours on it. Um, but uh, so, uh, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. I paid two thousand dollars for it. <laughs> it's a steal. <laughs> yeah. I, I knew it since he was meeting me like six hours away from his house that he was really urgent and wanting to sell it, right? So, I mean, it, it needs help. It's not like in great shape. And so I just kind of gave him the obvious of pointing out everything that was wrong with it. And I said, I don't want a headache. I, I don't even want to lowball you. I wish, you know, I told you, I asked all these questions because I wanted the answers because I didn't want to waste our time. And uh, he pretty much, you know, said, just shoot me an offer. And I said, man, I don't want to insult you. And uh, I, I don't want a headache. And he said, well, will you take it for 2500 I said, no, I, I, you can sell it in a month to somebody else. And he said, nobody buy me, buy me will buy it, right? And I said, all right, I'll do 2000 and take it. And he said, okay. I said, all right. <laughs> so. That is so, crazy, man. Yeah. Pretty good it's deal. Nice. It's a really good deal. Yeah. I mean, it's beat up, though. I mean, it, it's seen better days, but it, it runs fairly good. It's just cosmetically, um, you know, and then, you know, maybe something with the gearboxes, maybe down the future. I It's not leaking or anything, and it's working okay, but I'm sure the condition it's in, they were abused, so. Mm. Well, that machine, uh, he, the other owner, he replaced the mortar at, what, 500 hours? Yeah, oh, and then the the blower or impeller not too long ago either, because yeah. it's obviously running over stuff and just really not taking care of it. It's probably beating the hell out of it. Five hundred hours. Yeah, yeah. Uh, off roading with that thing, man. <laughs> so you know, it's funny is you know that was an okay deal because it was so cheap. But honestly, like two days before I bought that one, I bought this one here. You can't see because it's really dark in here. But this one has just over 960 hours. Um, and I paid uh, 4100 for this one. Um, and this one was original owner and very good condition. Uh, 4100 for just under 1,000 hours. Pretty much. That's a really good deal for that one, too. And that's a 25 horsepower the one i got from wisconsin was a 26 horsepower but i don't know whatever so you're gonna you're gonna fix one up and sell it ah well everything of mine is always for sale so at, at any given time if anyone wants to buy something i'll sell them anything i mean i got my other mower here my other walker that has 40 hours on it this bad boy right here 40 hours on this one only um but yeah, so everything's for sale. I'll give you fifteen hundred. For which one? <laughs> for the one you just bought, Michigan uh, one. Fifteen hundred. I got something around here for fifteen hundred. My push mower, I think. Um, <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> I'll, I'll meet you in Cleveland. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you guys can't even cross the border. Oh, I know. We can't. Nobody can cross the border right now. Yeah. Yeah. That's the bad part about it. Hey, Matt. How Here's you doing? Matt, Matt is in the house. Hey, how you doing, bud? Hey, Matt. Hey, man. Welcome to my stream. Yeah, I just had to jump on here for a few minutes and say hello. Yeah, man. Yeah, so I don't know if you've met Sean before from uh, Minnesota Lawn and Landscape. 
I'm, Toro, I've, seen, I've, it's a Toro. I've seen him a couple of times on some other streams and all. Yeah, I think Mike's uh, seen him before. Yeah. So he's, uh, as you can see, he uh, he doesn't like walkers at all. So. Mm. Well, you know, you know, everybody have their preferences, whatever more they use. And, and, and it, whatever more you have is what is good for your area. That's more I would use down here. A lot of guys like, uh, down here where I'm at, they like John Deere and they like, uh, um, the, uh, Skag and a couple of, and there's a few walkers down here. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I'm all for John Deere, and you know that. I know you use John Deere too. So, yeah, I tell you, I don't. <laughs> you probably you probably seen that little that video I did on that on that little 335e. Yeah, I love it. And uh, that that more, I I got into the lawn care two years ago, and that's that more basically that little 335e. I got it in uh, like an inheritance when my brother died. And and that's what I've used to start off with. I had it had only one hour on it when I got it. Nice. And it's got it's got about eighty now on it. Uh, that's nothing. Uh, it, it ain't nothing. And, and, and I had it for I I had it for two seasons. And Brand that little stuff. more that little more paid for that big one. No. Oh, you, you'll get a lot of work out of that. No, well, I got a lot out of the big one. I could go through a yard in no time with it. Oh, the uh, 930, right? You have a 930E? I got a 930A. Uh, or E, yeah. It's a 930A. It's got the, uh, it has the hydraulic deck lift. It raises the deck down with it. And oh, it nice. It shut off on it. It'll spoil yep. you. You don't have mulch on demand on that, right? Mm, not on mine, you don't. No, no, no. no. Yeah, my 930, uh, yeah, you got to raise it back uh, manually, but uh, I have mulch on demand on that machine, too, and it's mm -hmm. uh, fuel-injected. Yours is probably fuel-injected, too, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 I, li I like the EFI. My only uh, deer that's not EFI is the 36. It doesn't come in an EFI. I don't think this one is EFI. I think it's standard carburetor. The, the 42 would be uh, probably carburetor. Yeah, and I believe this I believe the 60 inches. Um is regular carburetor. You don't have an EFI, anything EFI on it. Do you have to pull a choke on it? Yep. Okay, it's carburetor. No, and it's yeah. easier to work on. Yeah, yeah. It's true, right? Like the, the more little gadgets you have and, and stuff, the more that can break down, right? It's less stuff to tear up. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, you know, you, know, you know the thing about it, it don't matter what kind of motor you have, as long as it makes you that dollar. And you know, some people don't like one brand or the other brand. It really don't matter because they all cut grass. Yeah. Whatever yeah, perform true. whatever performs for you is what you use. That's the way I um, see it. Hustler performs really well for me. I like to I got a whole fleet of them. All right. And, see, it also depends on where you're at too. Yeah. And what area you're in and what type of grass you're cutting. And, and 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 I've seen some. Uh, I know a buddy of mine's got an heiress that has a store over here, and he likes to cut on my John Deere better than he does his more. I can't explain it, but I know. they just like to cut. I use more. I use molten blades on mine, and it it's a it's a cleaner it's a cleaner cut. You don't sling it 500 feet out. <laughs> oh, I know. But it, 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 it cuts a clean cut. And, you know, what's really surprised me, uh, I took the blades yesterday and, and I, I sharp, I pulled them off and sharpened them. And um, they really didn't need to be sharpened that much because I didn't wear them out as much. But I've used, this is the second season I've had those blades on it. Because I've been cutting everything around at three, and, and, and I don't take no, I don't run over nothing and nothing like that. And I've seen people go through one set of blades in not even a half a season. Yeah. Yeah, my uh, the blades on my nine thirty that they're, they're lasting pretty long. I still have the original ones from uh, three years ago. Like, it's crazy, three years, and uh, I do have a second set too. I, I have second sets and, and thirds for some of the mowers. 
whatever, always sharp and ready. But uh, yeah, then, like number one, you gotta make sure uh, you're familiar with what uh, your the turf that you're cutting. Uh, yeah. Number number two, you know, if there's sticks in the spring, in the fall, whatever, you know, but like little little tiny sticks, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go over. But a certain thickness, you know, you don't wanna, number one, you're gonna break your spindle too, possibly. There you go. And I, you know. You've now seen you the video that I did about that, didn't you? Yes, I, I watch your videos, man. The, the bells on you. Yeah. I, I ran yeah, your I'm bells. Very particular. I'm very particular what I cut and what I do. And and you know, if I when I see something, I say, hey, this maybe help somebody. It don't matter what kind of more you do. It, it you will tear up something in a minute if you run over it. And you, you, those spindles, if you think about it, they only connected with four volts to that to that chassis to that bottom of that deck. All right, you get enough vibration in there, and, and, and something slams it pretty hard. It's gonna twist it. It's gonna twist it, and it's, it's gonna break something in there, and and gonna cause more damage. Oh, for and, sure. And just like that deck, it, that like that guy had on that those walkers. That when you got when you get employees that don't care about your stuff like you do, um. We got some that just don't care. And, no. and, and the people that I used to work for, I took care of that machine just like it was mine. And that's the reason why they, they asked me, they said, why? we want you to come back. Now they got a guy running it. They had to put it in the shop three times since I left. Wow. So I took See, care of my stuff. See, that's I the thing. It. Like when, when we're going solo, our, our machines are running really good and we have no issues with them. Now, as soon as you have somebody else running your machine and you're, you're not watching them, you know, you can have problems because they're not looking for these things, right? We care because we pay good money for all this stuff and it costs good money to fix it too. So I'll tell you uh, something else. When you, when you learn your mower, you know, even we got a headset on or something, you know how that mower sounds. You know how that deck sounds. You know exactly what everything is underneath that mower. One little change, you know it, yeah. and you know how you know you know something ain't right. Like that motor, I could I could, I could hear that motor when it's running, and when I had a problem uh, with it last year, right off the bat, I could hear it. Yeah, and because you you get familiar with your machine, and you and you look for stuff. And you listen, you listen carefully. You can hear things that it gives you a warning ahead of time. Yeah, like a vibration in your deck. Oh, and, I know. You know could yeah. be meaning two, two or three things. You got you got a uh, you got a, a messed up blade somewhere, or you got your blades uh, got bent. You hit something somewhere, and, 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 and it could be anything, and it just you can, you can just about you can feel it. Mm -hmm. Or even if you get a, you know, a piece of twine, or uh, you know, people like in their gardens, they might have things stringed up, right? String going around bushes, or whatever. Mm -hmm. you, you get, oh my God, I've had it happen to me before. And I didn't see it in some long grass, and just a little bit was sticking out, and it caught into my uh, blade, and just, and then all of a sudden I see all these bushes kind of bending over, and all, I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> turn off the PTO quick, you know, and you have a hell of a time, you know, trying to get that stuff off but even just like little sh stuff like that it, it can put your balance off a yeah, little bit uh, you know and uh, you, you might not know it but just that little bit of vibration uh, that that can do a lot of damage later well yes it sure can you know the other day i run i run over uh somebody had a garbage bag and uh and didn't see it well it just you can hear this weird sound <laughs> And and I cut uh, for a minute. I just just cut it off, and it just big glob up underneath the mower. Yeah. Raised the deck and backed over, it and just raked it out of the way, and, and put it in a trash can, and looked underneath the mower, make sure there ain't nothing else hung up under there, and just going on the town, finished doing what I was doing. That's why it's so important. You got to clean under your deck, you know. Well, a lot of a lot of people might not even think about that. Put their mowers away, continue the next day, and keep on going for months. It, you got to clean your decks out. You know, just 
But when I change my blades, I, I make sure I clean it 100, pretty much 100%. You know, you scrape everything out of that. Um, but still, if you're not changing your blades every week or whatever, you got to pop that thing up and give her a scrape, check under it, you know. Every yeah, week. At least inspect it. Yeah. At least, um, like yesterday, uh, after that, I, I pulled it up on – and and I looked I looked under there and, and uh, checked checked everything, make sure everything looked fine, and everything did. Um, the guy that that I do the apartment complex and all that stuff, uh, he had a Toro and an Aris mower, and I've run both of them. And um, it's the Toro is about it's got war the the spindles. He said he's replaced the spindles on it several times. And I, I looked at him and I said, I know why people getting on it they don't care. And yeah. they don't take care of nothing. And and I tell you another thing, too, a lot of people don't realize. You, when you grease something, if you don't grease it enough, you'll wear your spindles out, too. If you don't grease, if you grease too much, it will destroy the spindles, too. Yeah, that's something because a lot of those, uh, those bearings have a uh double some of them are self-sealed bearings and if they're self-sealed they already got grease already in them and i've seen a lot of mowers that, that has that some of john deere's are uh, like that and if you if you catch them in time you can take just take that little plastic piece off the bottom one and the one on top of it take them out and then the, the grease get down in there and you won't mm -hmm. have a problem no more and grease it all you want to. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, it's important. Greaser machines and and everything. And just, you know, just a couple squirts in there, whatever, it's better than nothing. Absolutely. You, know? just, hey, uh, like, you don't want, you know, so I've seen guys sitting there sitting pumping about five, six times into it. It's not going to do any good pumping that much in there. Pump about no. three shots in there, but ever three cuts or four cuts. And it it, 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 keep those bearings from wearing out. It's just a simple maintenance, right? And it's so in, inexpensive to do. It's so cheap to buy grease and a tube will last you a while. So. Absolutely. And, and, and that's, and that's what will, uh, help, um, <laughs> you less chance of things falling apart. Yeah. Yeah, and even having sharp sharp blades, you know, it's, it's so important, you know, if you if you want to have a nice cut. So, Absolutely. You know, I, I actually started helping my neighbor. It's funny talking to them. It's like, you know, do you sharpen your blades? No. When was the last time? Never. How long have you had your lawnmower for? Okay, yeah, they cut once a week or every five days or whatever, but you know, five years or something like that, right? And like, here, let's take your blade. Let's take your blade off. I'm gonna sharpen it for you, you know. And <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, yeah, over here. They were here. Uh, I go over here and I help him. He's a he's an elderly man. He's up in his eighties, and uh, he ain't able to cut his grass anymore. I go over and I I said for you, I help you out. But I said I'm not gonna weed eat unless it's gonna it's gonna cost you extra if I weed eat. Cause yeah. I, I I ain't making no money at it, and. And he expects you to include everything. I said, no. I said, I want, I said, if it's just around the house, I do it, but not the whole damn field out there. And I just want to make, I actually, I'll be losing money. But I yeah. made up, I got, actually one, actually I got two back that I lost. And the guy that's supposed to cut their yard end up having the virus he's in quarantine right now oh no hey, won't bill. Be... so I sorry think... matt uh, i think bill has to leave i just wanted to say bye uh, thanks right. for coming thanks for coming in bill uh i'm sure we'll be uh, still up in a couple hours maybe and uh if, if you're still around you can pop back in sorry matt. A while, bill Yeah, Mike. Um, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna head out for a little bit, and then I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, no problem, man. All right. See you later, guys. I'll be yeah, right back. Right, yeah, Mike. Yeah. So we yeah, got the two John Deere's now. 
Yeah, yeah. two John Deere guys has took over. I know. What's uh, what's Jim up to tonight? Because I know you and Jim are usually uh, hooked up. I don't up. know. Uh, I talked to him on the phone earlier, and, and uh, he said, are you going live later on? I, I, I was thinking about it, but I decided not to. Yeah. It, it's 9 o'clock already. I might go live tomorrow or, or one day next week. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't uh, I don't do it that often. That last time I did it was a week ago today, like Saturday night. So, because uh, I know uh, Shane goes on uh, tomorrow, right? Because I know you're you going to uh, DLTs too, right? Yeah, I go over quite a bit. Uh, I yeah. watch his. I watch his, and I watch the uh, uh, Whirlies, and I watch Jim's. I watch anybody you look goes live. I know I watch some of the Handy Stars at the time and. Long star, sometimes I get crazy over where I just fuck hate him. Well, I know. <laughs> actually, I went, I went into uh, Long Stars actually uh, yesterday, right? But uh, yeah, it's just it's too crazy. I don't even think they they really seen any of my uh, little messages I, I put up comments. But, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not too big of a channel. Mine's just just uh, no. I don't know how much. I don't have that many subscribers and all, but you know, I've got about 160 right now, and uh, it it's it's a hard go when you getting subscribers and getting you getting that people build up and it takes time and. Well, it, it, the thing is, like, I'm not in a hurry, and and my whole, I don't know if you know my whole story of coming into YouTube. Basically, I just want to network with people, and meet people. I met you, you know, we've we've been on streams a bit here and there, you know, yours. I've been on gyms and whatever. I, I like to network with people, get to know other people do doing do, doing the same thing. And I, I like you because, well, because you're using John Deere's for one thing. You mm -hmm. know, I, I like your videos too, you know. And, yeah, and, um, simple. I, I don't go out of way with them. I just do them simple videos. And, yeah. And and I don't add a bunch to it. It, it, it. What you see is what you see. Me, you know, I decide to do it. That's for a moment, and 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 that's what I do. And that's uh that's exactly what I'm gonna do when I start my lawn videos. Because I, I I don't know if you watch many of my videos, but um, I don't have any lawn ones. I just started in December, so I got like more snow plowing ones, and then uh, more uh, you know I was building things and maintaining things and then the one i just posted today was uh basically nothing to do with lawn care or or snow removal um there's more of you know helping a friend that's in uh, quarantine you know to get some some snacks and something right go shopping just to put awareness out there tell people that if you're able body and you can do it go help somebody you know it's a little things little things you do that will mean a big thing to someone you know Absolutely. and my uh, I got a cousin that lives out in California, and um, he's he is big time in um, he's 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 a big time rapper in the rap music and stuff like that, and and uh, he um, he lost his debit card, and he he has his PayPal stuff like that. He's a he said he didn't know what he's gonna do and the stuff like that and and I see him twenty dollars a day, just hell of it to help you and uh, through PayPal and I said let me tell you I said let me tell you something I said I don't want it back I said you just when it when you get when you get the money you you pay it forward to somebody else and that's what I told him man and I said you help somebody else in need and um, he said okay. And um, it's you when you do something, it makes you feel good. Hundred percent. And and it, it's always it, you always help others. And, and like you know, the, the, there's an old lady that lives up the back road before she passed away. I go up there and I just her yard wasn't that big. It won't take me about three swipes on her yard and cutting it. I cut it for her. Didn't charge her for it. Just help her out. And um, she recently passed away, and people that lives in there now are, um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've done the same too, um, especially with snow removal. Like, uh, you know, people shoveling their driveway, it, it's hard work, you know, doing that. 
um, I always pick somebody every time I go out and uh, do my route. If I see somebody struggling doing the end of their driveway, you know, by hand, like a elderly person or a, a, a woman and she just can't handle it or, or something and her kids are trying to help and it's just too heavy. I always pick somebody out and I just go there and I'll get it. And it's like, oh no, we, we don't have money. And it's like, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm going to help you. And they just look at me, you know, and I said, it's okay if I put my plow blade here on the end, I'll use a shovel to finish it off, whatever, just to push this in and put it, okay. So, you know, I'll pull it out, back drag it in, push it up there, get it with a shovel, fine tune. And uh, I, I give them a business card. I said, one, you know, oh, you know, do, would you like a coffee or something? And I was like, no, no, it's okay. I, I got to go. But, you know, I'm going to, I'll give you a business card. Oh, okay. That's excellent. I said, if, if you can, if you hear of somebody that needs help with something or, you know, with grass cutting or this or that, and, you know, can you please forward my name to them? Yes. Okay. I, and, and I got a couple calls by doing that. You know, like, yeah, I handed it, I maybe did it 20 times, but I got a couple of calls and I got a couple of new customers out of doing that. So I'm not doing it just to because of that. I'm doing it because I'm a nice guy and I want to help people. But at the same time, you, you network. Everybody's always networking. How's and, the audio work to you? Yeah, it's good. And yeah, let's see, say something. Let me see if I can hear my own headset. Yeah, that's, that's, better. that's better now. It's louder. Yeah, it's on the line there. I got to turn mine back. All right. Yeah, you got to turn the speaker back. Yeah, I got to turn the headset back or I get blowed out. Yeah. There we go. All right, give me a five count. You there? Yeah. No, I'm still hearing the uh, echo back. I'm hearing everything come back to me. I don't understand why it's doing that. I don't, hear, I don't see it over here. Oh, it's a crazy thing. I sound like a robot. Let me just get rid of the headset. That testing. One, two, test. Oh, yeah, it's back to normal now. That's weird. Yeah, it was a weird sound. I don't know if uh, the people watching us right now could hear that. Hey, Sean, if you're still uh, listening to us, could you hear that when he had his headphones on? That's weird. It was a terrible sound. I know what's gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that headset. I'm gonna throw them in the garbage. Is, is there a microphone on that headset, or it, the microphone ain't hooked up? Oh, okay. But it's just I, I, I never, I never had that happen before. Echoing through them through that, it's just I don't know. I ain't gonna use it then if it's yeah, it's like it is. I, I like wearing headphones. Actually, I do have earbuds too. I should put those in, but. I don't know, rather than having it. Because sometimes when it comes out of my speakers, it bounces back into my microphone and then it echoes through everybody. And yeah, on, you get the, that's, you that's get the weird feedback. That's weird how doing that. It's a, a fancy headset. It's got the microphone on it and all that stuff. Yeah, see, yeah. Sean uh, Sean just said I heard it. So Yeah, he, I, don't, I don't That's weird. As that, soon as I change it back to the computer, it was fine. <laughs> No, no, I change, I change everything back over to the to the TV. Some mm -hmm. something with some going through the mixer. Some I don't know. Oh, you're running through a mixer, right? Yeah, I'm I'm going through this right here. Oh, okay. That's I'm going a, through that. Let's see, what is that eight channel or? That's a, that's a, a twelve channel. Mackie. Twelve. Okay. Looks very similar to uh, what my band uses for practice. That's what that's what I'm using microphone. Okay. okay. Right, the camera sits right there, and you have a big screen. Yep. yep. There's there's my my speaker. I don't know if you can see it. Though. It's right there. Yep. Yep. It's a little fifty watt um, speaker. Huh. Yeah, I can hear myself a little bit coming out of your speakers. I could barely can hear it. Yeah. That's about as far as I can go down without cutting it all the way back. Yeah. So you got uh, any lawns to do uh, tomorrow? Well, tomorrow is Sunday. Do you cut on Sundays? Yeah. I don't. No. I don't. I usually don't do nothing on Sunday. Yeah. Hang on the guitar a little bit. I, I try not to, but like once my season starts. Um, 
if uh, my Monday is going to be a wash day and possibly Tuesday too, like looking at the weather, I will uh, contact my customers. Any work on the weekends, I always communicate with my customers and I'll ask them, is it okay? You know, if I come on a Sunday, you know, just to make sure because they might be having a pool party, right? They yeah, might be having sure. their, their, their kid's birthday party. They, you know, a lot of things, you know, and, and you don't want to show up and, you know, they're like, what are you doing here? You know, and, oh, you know, and then you feel like an ass and, you know, and then they yeah. kind of look at you differently after that, right? Yeah, I have got a call a couple times. Uh, uh, somebody want me to go go cut on Sunday and right here in the neighborhood and I just go do it. Don't take me no more than an hour or so uh, to do it. And probably knows my ham rail stuff right there. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. That, those right there are oscilloscopes. That's a 40 megahertz. And that one there is a 60 megahertz. Wow. That's my, that's an HF, HF two meters and 440 ham uh, rate Kenwood TS2000, which is discontinued. That's a Ranger 2995 DX 10 meter and CB radio. And up there on the shelf, underneath that right there, yep. is a uh, 1500 watt linear amplifier. Uh, it put out 1500 watts PEP, which is a power of peak to peak power and all that stuff. Who we got here? Uh, we got Otto. Otto, uh, Otto Martin. How you doing, Otto? How you doing, everybody? Good. Doing all right. What about you? I. Sorry, what's that, Otto? Yeah. Otto, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. So how you doing? <laughs> oh, we're doing fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Kind of. What? What do you do for a living? Who are you speaking with? You. What you do? <laughs> well, I'm actually a voice actor, professional electrician. That's well, not auto. Yeah, we, we're we're lawn care guys is what we are. What? And also musicians playing music. Oh. Yeah, Matt Matt uh, plays in a band too. He uh, he plays guitar. Uh, you play anything else too, or? I play the I play the guitar. I play the mandolin some. I play the banjo. And and about it right now. I got a ukulele, but I I retuned it where you play it like a guitar. Oh. It's interesting because uh, there's a hell of a delay. Oh, you you know what, Otto? Uh, you have to mute your YouTube uh, volume, okay? And ah. then, and then look at the stream yard. There we go. Okay, is it in time right now? I believe so. There we go. All right. Yeah, now listen, I have to try to... something to make sure this works. Everyone. Yeah. Yes, yeah, about between yeah. one and thirty, between thirty second delay between between them. Oh, when I when I started first uh, doing the stream yard, I had no idea about that, and uh, everybody's uh, thing that I went into, I'm like, yeah, I can't do this. It's echoing and there's a delay and this. And finally, I figured it out. Like, oh, yeah, okay, because you have YouTube running, and then you're in StreamYard. They're two separate things. Uh, so you have to mute YouTube. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, I want to try something here. I got to try something a little new. Let's sure. see if this works. Ready? Minions of Milton. Is it working? I don't know. I don't know. Did that work? Yeah, that sounded pretty cool. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let me get back to my speech then. Listen up, everybody. COVID-19 is a very serious problem to all of our financial well-being. I care, Minnesota alone. Support care, man. your landscapers. Support your snow-clearing professionals. We are human, too. We need to. 
Anonymous out. I've heard the group Anonymous. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you doing with that, Otto? I don't know. That was just kind of fun. Uh, so you're just kind of playing around doing uh, stuff are like you that. Pretty good, you're pretty good with computers? Yeah, I can say so. But no, uh, it's just being around the house doing nothing is getting very, very tiring. I know what you mean, man. I know exactly what you mean. I wrote a song today and I posted it up and it's uh, all about COVID-19 and on how incredibly bored I am. And one so, thing, one thing I've, well, I'm, I live by myself right now and, and my, my aunt passed away not long ago and she was 88 years old and a, lot, and a year before that, my brother passed and there were three people lived here in this, in this place where I lived at just me now. That's horrible to hear. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, in, in two years time, it become, it was peaceful, loving family and then nobody and it hurts especially a time like this yeah sorry to hear that matt i had no idea man i've, I've lost a lot in in the last five years family mostly well hopefully you're going to gain some more friends now with all this social media connection that's happening right now and at least there'll be a bit of comfort there i'll tell you what i've met some good people on here and, and uh and um, you get, you definitely have some good people in the world still, and that's that's one good thing. That's the nice thing about uh, our little community here, our lawn care community, and and others that join in. Um, it's just nice. We just kind of chill and we just talk, and yeah, we're all around the world. And uh, Matt, you're in uh, Ohio, right? I'm no, I'm in Alabama. Alabama, that's it. Okay, yeah, sorry, down here in Alabama. I'm Wheat home, of, Alabama. Yeah, I'm thinking about Drew. Home, I'm, Alabama, right. <laughs> I'm thinking about Drew. I don't know if Drew's still in here because um, he might. Yeah, I think Drew, Drew's up toward Ohio. Up yeah, there. he's in. He's in Ohio. Yeah, he's up there, pretty close to Jim, where he lives. I've got family in Ohio myself. I got a I got a cousin that lives out in in uh, California. Um, he's he's got a fair big time, but. And I've talked to him every now and then, and he said, right now, they, they catching hell out there right now. With all yeah. everything yeah. shut down, he had to shut his studio down out there. And he they they own a music studio out there in California, and and he does he does rap music and stuff like that. And he he called me today, and and he said, I don't know what to do. I said, be positive. Just, just try to make the negative into a positive, and you'll get through it. Just find something, find something else to do, and 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 if it, that's what I try to do. I've got several things I could do. I could sit here, I could go over, I get my get some guitar out of my case and play the guitar if I want to. Uh, get on the ham radio, talk around the world if I want to. I'll sing for you. Oh, you're right. Okay, I'll yeah, I'll sing for you. Make a bad time a little more positive. Ta -da. Make, a, make a make a good make a bad time into a good time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, which which voice changer software are you using? <laughs> it's actually, I literally just downloaded it for this particular show tonight. <laughs> About five minutes ago, it's called Voice Mod. And they have a whole bunch of different types of ones that are free. Um, uh, you have a baby one, a blocks one, a cave, magic cords, a police bot, a titan. and uh, But apparently if you pay, you can get a bajillion more. Things like evil cop radio. I don't know. It's a lot of fun, you know. Why not brighten up our day a little bit with a little bit of shenanigans by, you know, yours truly. That's right. That's how wicked, don't it? <laughs> That's kind of cool, eh? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can make up your own a uh, little bit of music there, right? Because there's, there's a bit of a tempo going on there, too, while you're talking with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it still on right now? 
Oh my god, guys, it's still on right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was off. <laughs> oh, man. It, it just it just sound 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 it sound cool. Uh. <laughs> Hello? Get me out of the well. <laughs> Mom, Dad. Um, Mama, he fell in a hole. Mama, I fell in a hole. <laughs> Wait, what was that uh, Simpsons episode? Um, oh, right. Uh, Timmy. Bart played uh, uh, a joke by putting a radio in the well, and his name was Timmy. Yeah. So <laughs> that's kind of like. Hey. Hello, it's me, Timmy. Let me out of the well. <laughs> What's uh what's that program called? <laughs> what is that that you're using, Otto? Uh this is a beautiful software called Voice Mod. It's uh lots free? of fun stuff. It's free. Ladies and gentlemen, it is free. I gotta write it down. So it's just voice mod? Free as supper. Free as a bird. Freeze a bird. Freeze a bird. Uh, yeah, for, yeah, for a free real voice uh, voice changer modulator. <laughs> what have I done? What have yeah. I done? What have you done to the lung community, Otto? I know. Uh, I'm such a uh, bad choice to bring into your Our channel. Our grass is going to turn yellow. I'll tell you, a lot of us has got that, um, that uh, snap camera, too. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I, I remember you uh, you doing that with Jim. <laughs> yeah, and, we, uh, a lot of us has got that snap camera and play that. We play with that sometimes. Oh yeah. my God, hilarious! What the, I tell you, what that wood that we we had we had we had everybody laughing. We just we picking on Jim and <laughs> we had a lot of fun. I, I remember that. Yeah. All right, you know that's that's the thing. If you can make somebody a, a bad day. And, and, and to make them <laughs> laugh and, and, and it changes their day. That's that's all it's about. <clears throat> exactly. Yeah, the only uh, thing is, you know, you, you uh, I'm an electrician by trade. And if I go into somebody's house and I got to break them the bad news, I always like to put on, your panel is dead. And then it well, works out. Blame it on Beelzebub. It's okay. <laughs> uh, well i really hope you guys both um weather it so to speak through this corona virus tragedy and you both come out on top even stronger <clears throat> now being a musician from the musician scene my prediction is people are going to be so cooped up that they want to go out as soon as they can and hear bands live and go anywhere to see anybody. And hopefully the scene will go stronger and stronger there. And then for us musicians, I think it'll be good as for um, lawn care, because they don't want to leave the house. Their grass is going to grow twice as long and Hell, you guys I'm, are going to be I'm, worked I'm off your feet. Cutting. I'm still cutting now. They don't have to come out. All they do is pay me electronically and I just come cut their dang yard. Yeah. Well, where we are right now, unfortunately the grass is about half an inch tall and, yellow yeah I mean, here here here's already got up I and mean, i cut one yesterday it was about almost <coughs> two kneecaps oh wow yeah my grass is actually starting to grow in the backyard which is unusual because usually it's covered in snow right now and it's not it's just mild oh wow yeah <coughs> Well, my uh, my mountain is now gone, Mike. It's gone, so yeah. the kids have nowhere to play. Oh yeah, yeah. Unfortunate, but you know what? You're in that lull season where there's no snow and there's no grass. So, mm -hmm. you know, like like uh, he was saying there, grab your guitar and start strumming away and kicking the time away. Well, yeah, have fun doing that too. Playing music and. And my other job, um, I work on uh, civil defense sirens, but I kind of put that on hold because you have to be around people. And, and 
I don't guys the one I help do it work <clears> with <throat> is sick and I ain't getting around him. Yeah. Well, yeah, Matt. Um I, I wasn't sure if Otto wanted uh, wanted me to, to say anything or Otto, because Otto uh, sometimes is a little undercover, as you can see, he has a mask on right now. I actually know who he is. Um, he, he's a drummer of my band. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. But, but, uh, Cat's but, out of the bag. <laughs> and Matt, I'm, I'm not that kind of a person to hold secrets or anything like that or whatever. It's just I wasn't sure if he wanted to because he doesn't normally go on online like this and, you know, disclose who he is. That's, that's not his real name, but it's, you know, it could be his YouTube name, right? There you no, go. Your soul <laughs> is mine. <laughs> so, yeah. But I just wanted to get that out. <laughs> so, I, you, know, you know, I was thinking, who is this? Who is this guy? At first, I yeah. thought somebody was anonymous group. Or, 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 or is this a, somebody a troll or what? I'm not sure. Well, I'll be honest with you. I got the invitation to come onto the channel, and I, yeah. I took about 45 minutes going, uh, what the hell am I going to do here? I, I'm an electrician. Uh, uh, hmm. It's okay. Oh, <laughs> I know what to do. Otto, it's okay. Like, you'll be surprised who... who you can cover anybody you want to on here. Like, like <laughs> Matt, Matt does his own stream yards too, right? And and all walks of life come through, you know? It's not just lawn care. That's why I, I titled mine... Uh, I don't even think I titled it anything with lawn care. Um, anybody can come in. We, we just chit-chat a bit, whatever, you know? And Absolutely. Oh, ain't that sweet? <laughs> Yeah, uh, Otto is very, too much fun. Yeah, Otto's very talented, Matt. I'm sure you can figure out who he is because if you joined, uh, did you get that invite for my other YouTube cha uh, channel for my band channel? Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah I, seen that. I don't know if you I, joined. I'm playing music there. Okay, so uh, Otto's the drummer of my band. So yeah, you, okay. So yeah, when you go cool. when you go back on that channel, uh, you're you're gonna see him there. So. Yeah, maybe. Ooh. I'm usually in the back hidden. <laughs> but uh, I'm telling you, he's very talented. He uses that electronic kit, and uh, yeah, he's a very talented drummer. Uh, well, I thank I, you for I the compliment. What, I know, I know some guys that lives up in. Uh, no one guy lives in Pennsylvania. He he's retired, playing the drums, and uh, he he had an old set of drums when he used to play. Now he got the electronic ones now. Uh, Newer type drums. Oh That's yeah. Something I never never learned how to do. Um, um, I don't know if I can get it down or not. You know what? I'll be honest with you. Anyone can. It's not like uh, it's not a skill that you cannot learn. Just learn. Oh. The, just, what was that? <laughs> That's not me drumming on my desk. <laughs> I, th I thought like the uh, you know like the those are the war drums and people are coming. I was like, oh man. Oh my god! I just spit you know, water when, I, when I'm when I'm playing with the guys over here, <laughs> I'm playing I'm playing more rhythm with them. Yeah. And when, when I but when I do a couple songs myself, I, I'm 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 the lead guitarist in, in, in playing, and and I do like mm. three or four songs when we're playing, and, and uh, we have fun doing it. That's all that matters. Is have oh, fun. Yeah. yeah, that's all we're our our. Um... One of our focuses, our number one focus in this band that we have is fun. You know, we're Absolutely. not out to be rock stars. We that you know, we're all um, up there in our ages, I guess you can say, compared to these 20, 21 year old rock stars out there. But you know, we still like to have fun, and that's number one priority. And number two priority is make sure that the crowd's having fun with us. That's it. So what we're all Absolutely. about. Absolutely. Absolutely. And and that's a and 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 what I and what I do. I'm also the sound man too with the band, and ah. and I could hear, <laughs> I could tell when something out of whack. Yeah, because I also got a dB meter too. I measure the dB in the room. Under it has to be within a certain dB. Now uh, I got a I got a I got a challenge for you, Mister Bush Green, Mister Bush Green. Yes, Mister Otto. You've got a green screen going on. I want to see our band picture in the background. Let's see how you can do that. I want to see it. Okay, I got to find yep. it then. I don't have yep. it set up. 
<laughs> but uh, you know what, Matt, you and uh, Otto have a lot in common because uh, Otto is pretty much our sound guy too. Uh, yeah. our, gu our guitar player is really good with it too. But uh, yeah, you, you guys have a lot in common. Um, Matt has a lot of equipment there in, in the room that he's sitting in. He is showing. You probably noticed I got a oscilloscope. I was going to say I seen a oscilloscope back there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> two well, of them. Yeah, I'm going to go find a look for a banner. You guys can talk. All right. Uh, um, now you know what a, you know what a service monitor is, don't you? Yes. I've got one. I got an IFR 120B service monitor. Wow. That I use. It's sitting. Over an IFR 120B. Matt, that's the service marker right there. Right over there. Well, don't point at me. I'm your service monitor. That's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm full of I'm full of everything. I'm, I'm still just... listening while I'm looking here. So uh, you can't see the booger falling out of your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting close. Don't make oh. fun of my booger. You want the regular one or the Christmas one? Christmas is the best. <sighs> I'm having way too much fun with this voice mod. Okay, this is going to work. Yes, this you is ready my for it? baby. You ready? Ooh. Yay! That's my oh, now it looks like we're doing a live stream of music. Hmm. Yeah, that's See, my, that's... Otto, I told you, man. We, we can just switch it up just like that. Yeah. I love it. Love it. That's a, that's a nice guitar, Matt. What kind of guitar is that again? That's a Gibson. Uh, Ooh. Wow. That's a nice one. That's what I play when, when, I, when I play music. No. That's very nice. And I use... Um, I got two of these speakers right here, little fifties. I got two of those. Oh yeah. Nice uh, powered. They're, yeah, they're powered, yep. right? Yeah. Yep. They look like they have stick those, stands too. Stands yeah. and all that stuff, and and I normally I yank at that uh, that mixer out of here. I pull that. I usually pull that out and take it with me. Ah. Oh. Very cool. Is that a Behringer? Mm, that's a Mackie Pro 12. Oh, Mackie, yeah. I see it now. And this mic here is a Phantom, Phantom Voltage. Ah. I'm just I'm using some through. headset. I hope it sounds good. Yeah, the headsets, I got something wrong with them things. I got to figure out what's wrong <laughs> with them. Well, my mom always used to say, you got to have a head to have a headset. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? The banner worked out pretty good here on the green screen. It looks really good. There you are. Look at you. You're back there. Who? See, you're blocking me again. <laughs> hey, Otto, do you, do you have a camera? A webcam? No. Okay, I figured that one. <clears throat> Gotta keep some animosity here. Uh, this, this guitar was one of 400 made by uh, George... Uh, Washburn Limited. Whoa. Wow. Wow. That's a beaut. That's a Washburn. Yep. That's a Washburn. And there's a one of 400, and I got one of them. See how low the reaction is on that sucker? Yeah, that's yeah. pretty low. That is low, low, low. Can't get any lower yeah. than that. Uh, I, hey, <laughs> you, can do, you can do some damn bending and... and and playing some, uh, play a little bit of rock and roll with that sucker. And play a little blues too. Can, oh. can, you, can you play a little riff for us? Or? Yeah, come on. I'm not that I'll good sing. Playing riffs, be honest, I'm not that good. Come on, big man. Play I heard Drew's a pretty good singer too. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, do um, you mind if I do an introduction for Drew here? Hang on a second. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Well, ladies and gentlemen, now joining your live stream, it's the one and only Drew. <laughs> That's right. 
The founder is here. Oh, they created this. You even have the effect, man. You got the smoke going. I know. That's right. <laughs> oh, That's right. Hey, you show Mike smoke, Bush Green oh, sees no. smoke, hey. and he loses his mind. Oh, no. I know, right? I'm telling you, Drew, I love smoke. And not, <laughs> I don't smoke, but uh, yeah, Drew, I don't know if you're uh, watching us before you came in. Do you know the story with Otto? I don't. I did not hear that. All right, I'll, I'll wait until you get your earbuds in. And, and sit he down. looks like he's I'll quite tethered. Uh, yeah, okay, so go ahead. Uh, Otto is uh, the drummer of my band. I'm in a band. Uh, I think I told you that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I sent you a link to for the uh, band page. No, you didn't send me a link. But I didn't? I'll check it oh. out. I don't believe you did, but I'll check it out. You send me on Instagram or whatever. Send me yeah, I'll, I'll listen to some of the music, you guys. And I'll tell you what, y'all. Uh, I, I like the music. Oh, thank you. Uh, you know, I, I like rock and roll. I like rock and roll. I like good old country music, and and, and I like I like some good music. Well, it may be a little premature, but uh, we are discussing a uh, live stream, potentially. I can't promise you this, or promise you that, or date that we'll be playing live over the internet for the whole world. Have fun. Yeah. Right. This is this is why uh, I started building our. Uh, sorry, Matt. Go ahead. Hey, let me know when y'all do. Oh, you this will. Is, this is why I'm starting to build our YouTube channel for the band. We only have like maybe 20 subscribers on it now, so I, I might start using that channel, like going into your streams or you know into Shane's or whatever, just to help build it, like I did with my Bush Green one, just to yeah. kind of get a fan base, right? And, and you never know. I, I met you, Matt, because of your John Deere's. I like you as as a person too, and and you're a musician. You play music too, so okay. we we. We have a lot in common, right? Absolutely. Drew on the side. Yeah, you know, I'm not uh, the best guitarist in the world. I can tell you that right now, but I've learned a lot in the last <clears> two years. Uh, and when, when I learned the cage system, it opened the damn door up to me. Mm -hmm. Learn how to play the bar chords. And, and, and when I did that, I, could, I started to be able to play uh, some of uh, Brian Adams songs and, and some of... of uh, CCR stuff and, and things like that, and I got down playing on the on the major scale, just playing down there, playing the the core of uh, the uh, Bad Moon Horizon down there, playing bar chords, and and I, I used to couldn't do that, never do that. Ah, what what about uh, <coughs> what about Deep Purple? <laughs> I've never done any, any dirt. And uh, uh, and, 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 that didn't sound good. Yeah, smoke on the water. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's yeah, you know, um, there's some songs I have a problem playing, but there's some <laughs> I have no problem playing. Like, story uh, of my life, mm -hmm. and there are certain songs I could do, and certain, certain ones that I have a tough time. Uh, I, I have a tough time barring some of the the, the um, like some of the, some of the songs with this finger here. I have a tough time with it. And, and some and some bar chords I have no problem with. Some of them I don't. Yeah. But I, I, I there's one of them that I, um, Dead or Alive Bon Jovi song. Yeah. It's, it's hard to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Try singing it. And. and I'm not the, that good at it, but but I got where I can play that little rift he does. Uh, that's mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. It's a little hard. Sometimes I can play it, and sometimes I can't. Depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Nah, See, I, <laughs> See, I can't play uh, actual chords on guitar. I can do power chords, so it's kind of cheating. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm a bass player, so I don't know how to play guitar. So. Hey, nah, 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 nah. I'll tell you a quick story. One night, me and him decided to switch instruments up, and not only switch instruments, but pick up something we're not used to. And we sound like we were back in high school. It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it don't matter. It goes long if you're long as you're having fun. That's all that matters. Yeah, we were laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Drew. So, so, I was making what, sure you're here. Oh, yeah. So, what <laughs> did. um um. MRP have to say and uh, Sean, since I kind of, uh, I mean, I heard a little bit of it when then I got an important phone call and I had to take it. But well, well, Sean was mostly just showing off his new walkers, so you know he has three, right? Oh yeah.
Yeah, so he 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 bought that one in Michigan, the one that I thought about going to get. He got it for two grand. Nice. It's a 2014. Yeah. Uh, and then he got picked up another one. So he was basically in his garage. He was just showing his uh, walkers and stuff. Um, he didn't stick around too long. And then uh, Mike, we're just talking a bit. You know, he's picking up more commercial lots. We're nice. we're we're gonna kind of hook up because he's uh, he's a bit. Well, he's in Toronto. Yeah, Otto. I don't know if you were here when Mike from MRP was in here. Mm-hmm. I was watching. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you were watching. So Otto lives mm-hmm. like 20 minutes away from me. Well, he's a drummer in my band. Anyway, uh, yeah, Mike and I are going to hook up. Uh, he's going to hook me up with some commercials possibly in my area right because, because he's getting so many right now and he doesn't yeah. want to drive this far out. And I'm going to do the same for him going to his area because I do get calls for his area. Mm-hmm. So we're going to kind of hook up now. So, yeah, like what we were talking about, Matt and, and Drew, you know, hooking up, meeting people uh, here on YouTube. I met Mike. Actually, no, I met Mike first on Instagram. He found me on Instagram because we're local. And mm-hmm. then he picked me up here on YouTube, started following me and, and commenting on my videos. And that's how we hooked up. And then coming into my streams, getting to the point that, hey, are you going live soon again? And he's asking me, you know? Yeah. Which is, which is kind of cool. Like, I'm just, I'm a new guy here still. You know? How I found, how I found your page is I, I was looking and I seen John Deere. Yeah. And, and same, same thing. You know, you got yeah. John Deere's. <laughs> yeah. That's how I found him. And, and, yeah. and, and that's a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? We yeah. try to do it live every couple of weeks and get the Lawn Academy people to come on in and have a chat. That's the idea. Yeah. So that's know. the one that I'm not invited to, right? <laughs> no, you are. No, you are. Hey, as, long as, you, as long as you be you a good boy. We'll let you you want to, I'm, I'm telling you, like, our, our streams always turn out to be just something totally different than lawn care, which it's it is right now. everything, really. Yeah, it's a little bit of everything, and, and I don't mind talking music. Matt doesn't mind. I don't know if Drew plays an instrument nah. at all. I used to play piano, but not anymore. Well, that counts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that's that's doing pretty good playing piano. Mm-hmm. Doing pretty yeah. good. I I had to quit piano because I hated everybody saying that I kept I was a penis and playing with penis and stuff. And I couldn't do it anymore. I had to go bang on my drums. That's uh, oh, man. Man. Yeah, and I just play with my sticks and wax skins. I don't get it. <laughs> Oh, we got the smoke show. I love smoke. When, when we uh, when we do our shows, well, I don't know, too. He loves it too. We have a smoke machine. Oh yeah. And uh, who who do you think controls the smoke machine? You. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so I got the, the the foot switch, so, right? Whatever. So probably we'll so like, smoky. You probably can't see the band at all. Yeah. Him. Oh yeah. We've had a few shows where Mike uh, he got into. You can see he's getting into one of his heavier bass lines, and he doesn't realize. He's stepping on the smoke machine and not letting go. And yeah. I'm in the back. I can't see anybody. But that's kind of cool. Yeah, but all of a sudden, you see Mike's face come into the smoke like two inches away from me going, hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, kinda, that would be yeah. kind of dope, though. Have it like oh, it against these shit and you start playing. And then like, and then once it clears, you're still playing. That'd be kind of dope. Well, there's one thing Mike hasn't mentioned about our shows is we have a dynamic uh, lighting show, which is all DMX controlled, mm-hmm. which is all addressable lighting. And they have different scenes and they have different shows and we're adding on it all the time over and over and over and lasers and you name it, projectors. And oh, it's it's really fun. So when we do our I live do stream, a, we're doing I like it stage where y'all got that stage set up. Mm-hmm. That's cool as shit. I like that. Oh yeah, we have uh, we have a few different setups. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. We just uh, we were into the lights last last season of our, our playing, but this oh, season yeah. we're we're going all in. I'm telling you, uh, yeah. but like we we invested. We got a couple of good stands. We got eight lights now, or ten lights. Uh, ten. We, yep. we have the DMX controller, like computer controlled lighting. Uh, just, Damn. Yeah, we're, we're all in. So. But, We're but broke. <laughs> well, we, we bring we bring that whole package. It, it, the whole package is available for for people to hire us, right? So right. We, we do make money doing this, which which is another side job I do. Oh, I and, forgot I forgot to mention. Oh, you see that little? You see this right here? Yep. yep. Or the VCR. That is, focus thing. 
That is a 50 watt PV amplifier. Uh -huh. Tube. Nice. It's got two 6L6s tubes in it. That sucker will got two big old 10 inch speakers on it, on it, and it and, it, and it's sitting on the speaker. Two two speakers. Let me move this chair out of the way. Where you can see it. I got a box, small amp there. It's right there. It's 10 inch speakers. That sucker will pump now. It'll run you out of here. There's hard there's a speaker. One of them right there. Let me get my fat ass out of the way where you can see it. See? That's one of the speakers. And uh, the stand I, I got on this other side here, I got a stand that look my little um this is a stand right here. That light blinding that this amp sets on. There's a little microphone that I use when I play at a gig. All right, you can bring it up back up everybody. There we go. What Look are you at doing you, there? video editing. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still learning with this thing. I was trying to figure out, I'm like, okay, because I've seen people cut out everybody, but still have them available and just have one big screen of whoever's showing something. What you do, mm -hmm. what you do, you can go to the person, right click, go to solo, it brings that person up. You don't have to bring them out of the stream yard. And then oh. where your box on the bottom, it shows like three of them, and you click on that, and it, it'll bring everybody back up like the word. Like, like showing me now, click on oh, that yeah. one, three, three, Click on that one or, or right click and go out of solo and it'll bring everybody back up. Oh, so, if, can you hear me and can you hear the yep. other? Talking? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. I just figured out something new. See? Yeah. So, how do you bring everybody back now? And just right click on me and, and unsolo. Oh, exit solo. There you yeah. go. It bring, brings you back. See, I'm still learning with this. Okay. Oh. It's, it's, it's a learning curve. It's, take a little bit to learn. I hate this camera refocusing on me. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's just uh, trying to get the best side of you, buddy. Don't worry. So did uh, anybody <laughs> focus in and out? I think it's Drew's fault because of all the smoke. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. a ri ridiculous Brady Bunch thing. Like, yeah, oh, Brady like... oh, trust me. That's that's the light one. That's not the heavy one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody oh, seen uh, in here. We're blaming on him. <laughs> everybody oh, everybody? seen uh, Mike's uh, video today. Well, actually, before we get into that, I want to say thank you very much for having me on because it's time for me to sign out. I've got things I got to do. And oh, well, good to meet you, brother. Hey, it's take care. Really nice to meet you. And this has been your live stream with Auto Mark. See you next time, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was good. Oh, oh you know, that reminded me when he was doing that. Uh, I had a voice, used to have a voice changer for one of my radios. Mm -hmm. And we used to have one, uh, Fred does Freddy Krueger. Mm -hmm. I used to give him hell back in the day. <laughs> Let's see what you had here. <laughs> oh, some woods back there. Creek. Ravine. Mm -hmm. I was saying this picture. Yeah. Yeah, I I, uh, I found some old pictures from a couple of years back. Um, I, I changed up my website today. I, I don't know, some of the pictures were kind of boring. And uh, actually, Mike from MRP, he gave me uh, some really good advice, which I didn't really notice with the pictures that I had on my website. I looked more like a realtor because I had like whole houses, right? And then you see the lawn down there. I think we need to focus more on what we're doing, right? So focus the picture on the lawn or the garden that you cleaned up, or you know, don't you don't need yeah. to have a whole house in the picture. So uh, I cleaned up my website and I found this picture. This is from a couple of years back. Nice. Um, they actually moved, and I don't do it anymore. But I love this property. It was a bigger property. This is one part of the backyard, but it goes over. Uh, the front yard is pretty big, but it, it's striped really nice because there's really nice grass all the time. So this was in the fall, 
um, like doing leaf cleanup with my uh, Z930 with the collection system. But yeah, just natural John Deere uh, stripes. I got a couple other pictures too that the John Deere uh, stripe too. I'll bring them up in a little bit. Yeah, I just got a message from from Jim. He says taxes are done. Mm hmm. He sent me a message on the phone here. Yeah. Oh, from Jim. That's what I yeah. use. That's what I use this record with with this, and you know, it's kind of hard to hold that thing sideways like that on it. I can hold it like this, but it's kind of hard to hold like this when you when you got when you're mowing. Yeah, you got to get a. You can get like a, a, a stick or like a holder and it holds your yeah. phone and it's more stable. I have one, uh, it, it converts to a tripod. Um, I think it might go almost five feet down to like maybe a foot and a half. Uh, so a lot of the times in, in the videos, when you see me talking and walking around inside my house or whatever, I have it on that tripod and uh, it's stable against my body, so I'm holding the base of it against my body and holding it. So whenever I turn or whatever, it stays straight with me all the time, and, and it follows my head, right? You know, yeah. rather, than, rather than free, like holding it like that, because then that's when you're shaky. So right. today's video, yeah, I was, I was just holding my phone walking around. That, that's when you get the shakies, right, in, in the video. That's what, so, that's what I did with mine today. I just, just, just. I just held it like this and, and, and just shot the video from here. And I said, mm -hmm. I want somebody to say, well, hold it sideways next time. Okay. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I'm looking for my stick. I think it's upstairs. But yeah, if, if, I don't, if, you, I don't have if you hold your, if you hold your phone sideways, it, you'll get a bigger picture then in your video. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, watch. Uh, I like, I like doing it like that, but there's there's time you, I, you just it's hard to hold the phone like that when you especially when you mowing. Well, yeah, you're you're one handing a zero turn, so. No, we're doing yeah. pretty damn good for one hand. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> that little mower is a little harder to do than that big mower. Yeah, I mean, big mowers. Well, I can just I, I can sit there all day long just doing this. On that yeah. nine thirty, hmm. hey, that, those mowers, those mowers, uh, they're they're sens they're sensitive, but hell, they're easier to mow with than, than some other mowers I've been on. Mine, mine is easier. The controls are smoother, and I was on a ditch the other day like that, cutting it, but it and it held it very well. I don't like getting on them like that, but. Yeah, the 930, uh, the 930 is a very nice machine. Like, I know there's a lot of John Deere haters, but, well, Matt has one too, and they're so, they, they are pretty sensitive. You can one-hand them pretty easy, like I do. You know, you got to scratch your face or your butt or whatever. Like, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. they, they, they strike pretty good too, so. Oh, yeah. They strike pretty good on it too. I, I ain't I ain't got a striping kit on mine. Down I here down here people don't require unless you're in something like St. Andrews subdivision or some three hundred thousand dollar home subdivisions. Those they might want it, but in this area it's not called for. Just cut it and go. Cut it and go. But I do uh, there I do do one thing a lot of these guys around here don't do. I, cu I go, I cut forward and I turn around and I come back and I'm back and forth. But mm -hmm. I have seen some of them down here don't do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's one guy I know, he, he'll, he'll go down and come back around and come back around like this and keep cutting, keep going around until he gets to the middle and he's spin around in circles in the middle. Mm -hmm. I said, no. I said, why don't you cut it back and forth like this, make, make it a lot nicer. Who got time to do that? I said, by the time you do what you're doing, I could be cut twice as fast as you. Yeah, you're right. You probably get done faster doing it your way. No, yeah. and it looks nicer. Mm-hmm. And uh, for sure. And and one guy said the other day said, said, dang, that thing got some wide t wide tires on it. I said, yep. Mm-hmm. Well, uh. 
that that ball right there. Well, we got three in the heads here. So uh, everybody's welcome to come join the panel if you wish. Uh, the link is on there multiple times. If you want to come have a chat or if you just want to sit back and listen to us talk, that's fine too. Just uh, relax. Absolutely. Welcome I'm just, to come up. I'm just relaxing here in my backyard. Yeah, the sun's out all the time here. So. Uh, <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. sitting right here. Who knows what the hell is going on back here? Yeah. <laughs> That's real back there. Yeah, you know what, Matt? If somebody's sneaking up on you, we'll let you know. Well, ain't nobody going to sneak up on me. Well, did you have a cat or a dog? Or? No, I don't I don't have any. I, this thing that won't let me do it here, but uh, I don't want an animal in the house. Okay. They, they mess everything up, and, and, and a cat would destroy. We had a cat in the old house, and it destroyed everything in the house. And, and, and nope, I want no animal in the house. You have any pets, Drew? I used to have a dog when I was mm. younger. No. I, I used to have several dogs, and... Mm -hmm. I don't even have one. I'd rather, I'd rather have another dog, but I don't want to want to eat me out of house and home. Eat better than I do. Yeah, we have a dog and a cat, so. Surprised the cat's not here. Actually, I think the door's closed. That's why. The mm -hmm. cat's here. always like on my lap whenever I'm sitting here by my computer doing work or whatever. The cat's always sitting right here on the desk just staring at me, watching me. That's what Kathy did. Uh, so what's for dinner, everybody? I me, I had spaghetti earlier. Mm -hmm. We uh we had wing night, so we uh we have an air fryer, so we don't use a deep fryer. We use a you guys know what an air fryer is, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I know what it is. Yeah. So, uh, it takes a little longer in there, but uh yeah, the wings are great. It tastes just like they're uh, deep fried, less mm -hmm. grease. Right, right. saw some up big, big wings we get from uh, yeah, local here, and yeah, so we just did that. What'd you do, Jerk? I haven't had anything yet. It's like what time? Dang, it's, it's, yeah, you're, you're, you guys are same time zone, so it's ten oh seven right now. We have yeah. um, I made some uh, homemade soup, so I'll probably have that at some point. Yeah, it's ten o'clock my time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're all in the same time zone here on the east eastern mm -hmm. part. So, yeah, Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think Sean, Sean's the only one Minnesota on landscape. He's uh, an hour behind us in Minnesota. So he's would be nine oh seven then, right? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. one hour behind us. So yeah, he's on Central Standard Time. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Too bad that mug had to. Yeah, leave. your light back there is blinding me. <laughs> My, oh yeah, Drews. Yeah, yeah. That the other one's worse. This one's better. Yeah, move your head over to the left. Yeah, I kind of hey, right. Stop right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gotta get the sunglasses on. Believe it or not, it's actually really dark in here. Believe it or not, it doesn't look. Well, if it, I cut it that is. light off over there, you probably lucky to see and uh, you see me. No, you, you're fine, Matt. What I have to do, I can't turn on the light in the room that I'm in right now because it's just too bright. That's how I was, yeah. I, I got lights on in the room beside me here, and it's kind of glowing in. Um, it affects the green screens too, right, mm -hmm. uh, your lighting. So that's what I had to figure out when I started using a green screen. Um, just, you know, lighting is key to it. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, um, tomorrow, I actually, I got an estimate to do tomorrow, uh, a leaf cleanup. So I have a, a snow customer. I, they're not a lawn customer, but um, he didn't know that I do lawns. Okay. And, and so anyway, we're chatting today and he's like, oh, do you do, do, do leaf cleanups? I said, oh yeah, for sure. I can set you up for the fall. He goes, oh no, for, for now. I said, oh shit, you didn't do one in the fall? I said, yeah, well, we kind of did. But so he, they're, they're in the country, a lot of trees and I hate doing leaf cleanups in the spring, you know, when there's a bunch of them and they're all wet and yeah. soggy and mushy all into the ground because of the snow. 
So, uh, yeah, I got to go tomorrow. I got to drop my son off at work for one o'clock and then I'm going to go up there and uh, check it out. I, I didn't really look at the property because all I was doing was the driveway, right? Like plowing it. So you don't really look at anything else, right? So I got to go there again and actually walk around the property. I'm going to give him enough minute. Yeah, apparently he has a pool area. Well, he sent me a couple pictures. I would rather see it myself. But um, there's a small, just a, a person gate to get into the pool area, and it's all fenced off, and it's sunken down, and there's tons of leaves in there. So it's it's all by hand because it's impossible to blow them out because you're going up. Um, so it's most likely going to be by hand onto a tarp, drag it up, dump it onto the main lawn in the backyard. I can use the Z930 with the collection system. They have a forest in the back because I asked them that. That's another thing you ask when you do leaf cleanups, right? You have a forest in the back, like with the big properties. Yes. Is it okay if I dump the leaves back there? Multiple leaves. Oh, yeah. So perfect because that then um, they're not paying for you to remove it, right? And right. I'm not spending as much time bringing it up. Now I got to bring my dump trailer with the leaf vacuum, you know, and this and that. So I can just go with my Z930, pick up all the leaves, blow everything out from all the small areas, right? Go over mm -hmm. with the leaf, drive to the back, dump it. Drive around again with full drive to the back dump, easy. Heck, easy. Yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I don't, I don't have a, a, a lead pickup around mine. I wish, and damn things expensive. You know what, Matt? They are very expensive. Uh, if you can get away with mulching, um, and like I've been doing a lot of that in the last couple of years, trying to mulch like as the leaves fall, uh, especially with the weekly customers, it's easier to do bi-weekly. They bunch up too much. Um, if your customers don't mind, just mulch the leaves. But those collection systems for the deers for the 930 anyway, that's five grand. You know, it's crazy. So when I bought that, got that machine, the machine was uh, I think 13.5, and then the collection system plus tax. So it was like 20 grand. Oh yeah. No. I, my, I get my, my deck on mine used to have the mulch on demand. They took it off. Oh. I don't know why. I think they bought a new mower and moved it to the other mower. And uh, I think that's what they did. Yeah. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah, your, oh, your yeah. more is a little different than mine. Yeah, so the uh, – got my finger in. Okay, everything's backwards here. So the hopper right here, it actually opens up at the bottom. So from the seat, there's a bar. There's a black bar right there. You pull mm -hmm. it with your, your left hand up. And, and the hopper at the bottom opens up, so you don't have to get off the machine. And then you, you put the bar down again, the hopper closes, and you keep on going. It, it's a pretty go. good, it's a nice. really good system when it works, but just like any other collection system. Now, if you have dry leaves, perfect. Now, if they're a little bit wet, you got to go super slow. Like, no matter what, like if you have a lot of leaves, you, you, you got to go slow. You can't. You can't go the normal speed if you're cutting. You have to go half that speed, if not slower, because the thing will get clogged up. Uh, the hose on it, I believe it's a 10 inch. I think I have another picture of the other side of the machine. I'll try and find that one. Um, but it still gums up. So if you go slow, it, it will work perfect. But if you're impatient, you're gonna be getting on and off the machine, taking the thing apart, taking the hose out, sticking your hand in there, unplugging it, you're getting frustrated because you're getting on and off, waste, and you're wasting mad more. at it. Yeah, you're Calling wasting it names you don't want to call it. You're wasting more time doing that shit rather than just sitting on the machine and, and picking it up and doing it slow. But yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it on the tweels are on it in this picture. I have the uh, air field on right now, so I, I do have the tweels still. Um, I think I talked about it before with the tweels. The tweels are great wheels, like uh, for hills. Uh, dry land perfect when it's a little bit wet i don't like them because uh, they, they have a wide footprint and a uh, flat spot if you're going slow because if the wheels round it if you're going like 10 miles an hour who's cutting grass at 10 miles an hour i don't so mm -hmm. for comfort going over bumps they're, they're perfect so i don't like using the tweels in the spring and in the fall when it's more wet um so yeah i got the air filled on you'll see it in uh, a, a video I'm going to do soon in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to put the yeah. tweel beside the machine in my video with the air filled on and just to show you guys. Yeah, my, I don't have twills on my mine, just, just regular tires on mine. And, and uh, oh. 
it just hell i'm i'm happy with mine 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 be on about a thousand hours or a little while i'm gonna do i'm gonna do maintenance on uh change the filters out the trans in the drive and change it i change it out every 500 hours oh yeah yeah, yeah it's been changed one time yeah no the air filled tires i really like the air filled tires i should have got the wheels on on this one that's my dump trailer before i got a leaf back in this is how i gotta try and get out of the way this is how i was doing it i would bring my dump trailer with the machine on the back and then uh, back up on there dump all the leaves and shit. that's and not a bad way at all no that's one way of doing it yeah it, it's not a bad idea at all but i couldn't totally fill the trailer because the machine took a little more than half of the trailer Mm -hmm. So the only way I could do it is uh, kind of build up the leaves taller than the the, uh, the trailer, and then once I get the machine on there, then I kind of push it down beside yeah. the machine and kind of over, and then put the tarp over and stuff. So um, I know I didn't show my leaf vacuum yet because I don't have any lawn care videos and stuff, but I'm going to show that with my uh, my setup video. And uh, yeah, it, yeah. When's that coming out? Chop chop. Well. I know I got to get everything here. I, I have my enclosed trailer now home. I, I put my plow truck in storage. I left everything on the plow truck because it's unpredictable. We never know. We might still get something. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks I'll get all my equipment here and then I can line it up and and uh, and do it. So you gotta do your maintenance on it too. Make sure everything's good too. No, it's all done. It's all, oh, is it? Oh, everything's done. I, yeah, I don't wait until the spring to do it. So. Mm -hmm. it's all done um yeah the leaf vacuum i'm gonna like one video way back i i talked a bit maybe taking it off this dump trailer and putting it on my uh uh the other truck i have with the eight foot box the plow truck because i had the dump uh insert in that truck and uh, i thought a bit of putting it on my enclosed trailer because the problem is when you're going solo I want to have all my equipment with me and I want to be able to vacuum leaves. I couldn't do that because I needed two trailers, but I was one person. You know what I mean? So with this setup, <coughs> excuse me, in this picture, I could only bring the V930 with a flexion system on it and then put my blowers, whatever, in the back of the truck, right? Um, going the other way, now if I take the leaf vacuum off the dump trailer, which it's on the front, it's not in this picture, but I have it on the front of the trailer and then it, that shoots everything in. I close it up, right? Um, if I put it on my enclosed trailer on the A-frame, uh, I can I can box up my truck that has the dump box, right? And then when I'm doing leaf vacuum stuff, I just I turn the chute over to the truck, stick it in a makeshift hole or whatever. I'm going to have a tarp going over, shoot everything into the truck. Then, okay, it's not going to be as big as the dump trailer but it's going to be more efficient because now I can have my equipment trailer with me, right? So I can bring leaves truck side, then I can use the vacuum, suck everything up, put yep, it in, yep. the truck, right? So because every lawn is different, this property here where this picture is taken, it's a, a two acre property, right? It goes way back. So I had to bring, and they didn't want anything in the treed areas. They wanted everything clean, spick and span. It's a, uh, he's a, he builds schools and construction, like they're millionaires, right? So it's very meticulous, and you got to pick up all the shit. They don't want. It. Yeah, he don't care about the price. Just do it. Yeah, yeah, just do it right, and they want everything removed. So this system right now, this picture works perfect for that. Um, now going the other way, it's going to give me a more opening that when I'm on a smaller property, now I can use my stand on. I can blow stuff over, you know, bring stuff to the side, and then use the vacuum put everything away. I don't have to use the big machine then all the time where it won't fit. I can use a smaller machine then, right? So mm -hmm. I, I know I know it sounds kind of confusing. I, I'm sure you guys get it, but uh, yeah. About time you showed back up there, MRP. Oh, yeah, Mike's here. Just how like, many hours are you got on at 930? Oh, the 930 oh. is just over 300. And this is the I got it 2017 in the spring. So one uh, thing one thing about those decks is uh, the Iron Pro decks. Every once in a while, you start getting a hole in in certain parts of that deck. You might want to check it the back line, the back part of it, and that side on the left side. Sometimes you start getting a hole. Um, 
a wire hole in them. Uh, I know mine had a few in it when I got mine, and I had them repaired. Okay, yeah. I'll have to check on that then. Just look at it right there behind where your tires, like back behind your tires, yeah. right there behind it, and on the on the side where the, your where your uh, discharge chute is, right there behind there, and also on that far end on that left side. Yep. Sometimes you, you start wearing a hole in that deck right there. Okay. And they will start. They will do it, and uh, mine did it. I got one popping up on my left side on 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 mine. Now I, I gotta get somebody to do some welding for me. Yeah, yeah. That's something I ain't got as a welder. I need to get one. Yeah, yeah things, I just don't have the money to buy one. I'm just happy I, I, I did it when I did. Um, I worked my ass off. Everything's paid for, except for my uh, truck. So mine I, is too. You know, I'm just happy now I have three John Deere's I'm set up for when I do hire people. I'm set up for commercial properties now. So that's why I, I did it slow, right? And that's what I'm trying to help Drew with too, since this right. is his season. Just use what you have right now, dude. Like, don't right. go ahead and buy all the stuff just because I have it and other people have it. Use what you have right now and build it up to that point. Work your butt off, pay off your stuff. You know, there's nothing wrong with leasing a machine. You know, as long as you can make that payment and still make money, you know, and, and pay it Absolutely. off, that's fine. You're, you're going to own it, especially if you can get 0%, which is great with John Deere. You know, I uh, uh, I did a, a lease to own pretty much for this John Deere. It's it's paid off. So, uh, but it All was, my stuff is paid. Yeah, it was 0%. So 0% is a win-win. You're, you're not giving anybody extra money. It's, you're still paying for this machine the exact same price if you paid it right out. Right, right. You know, so so there's nothing wrong with doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe in two or three years I'll need to buy another one. Yeah. Because I have no warranty in any of mine right now. But Mine, I ain't worried about how long I'm going to keep it. When the day that damn thing hits 9,000 hours, that's the day when I junk it. If it ever makes it to 9,000 hours. So did you say 9,000 hours? Yeah. It ever makes it to 9,000 hours. That's when I jump. Wow. Hold on here. I'm just trying to figure something out here. Oh. That's right. Baby steps. Yeah. How do you get this back up here? All oh, right here. Let's try and bring it. Oh, okay. There you go. Wild Bill attack. And, and, and if you want to close that out, you click on it again, it closes it out. Mm hmm. Yeah. Like that. There you go. I was just trying to figure this out because it's kind of nice to, to do this if somebody can't join in. I know Wild Bill there is uh, gets strep through. So I'm sure if he didn't have it, he would be in here. So I just, I met Bill the other night. Were you there too, Drew? No, I don't think you were. I don't think I was. Uh, Shane? Well, well, or? Bill, spend all the time you can with you. Uh, talk mm -hmm. to your mom. Just, in, just talk to her and go. Uh, I, I mean, my I'm, mom, my mom, my dad, my aunt, all my uncles, all of them are gone. Except I got, I got one, one brother and <clears throat> two sisters. I don't even talk to. They don't, they don't ever call me unless they want something. That's really too bad. Yeah, that is. And the last time I talked to my sister, she called me selfish. She she said that uh, she basically wanted money. Mm -hmm. She wanted my aunt's money that she had, that which wasn't very much. And she said, "You just selfish." Uh huh. I got mad and hung up on her. I ain't spoke to her since. Mm -hmm. And when I I should have said, "Okay, <laughs> tell you what." Once you pay the ten thousand dollars, my aunt owes for a hospital bill. So she didn't yeah. like that. I know. Um, yeah, Bill. I, I I know how you feel. Um, my my dad passed away actually pretty much a year ago. Uh, it was March the tenth last year. 
So, uh, yeah, that's never easy. So, no, it, it's not, especially today. Uh, I was getting ready for the stream a few hours before. I, I just wanted to find some old pictures, which this picture that's up right now I found and, and stuff. And then I found some old pictures of my dad, you know, and I just had to stop what I was doing, you know, and, and it's hard, you know, just looking yeah. at the pictures and playing with my boys when they're younger, you know, and, and yeah, it's hard, you know, but, he, he's in a happier place. And he's not suffering anymore. So, no, you know my my aunt. She was eighty eight when she passed. She passed here at home. That's what she wanted. And um, I just I was thinking about her yesterday and all this stuff that's been going on. I'll be I would be worried to totally death about her right now. Yeah, if she, if she was still alive. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, the thing the thing is, is just if you got family, be uh, at least uh, if they got health problems or anything like that, be there for them. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. you don't know if you're gonna ever see them again. You're right. And I know a friend of mine right now, he has not talked to his daddy in 40 years. Wow. He hates his dad. I told him the other day, I said, you need to at least talk to him. He ain't talking to him. I said, fine. Fine. And um, I said, when he, they, I, I told him, I said, when he dies, you're gonna never going to be able to talk to him again. He said, I don't care if I ever do or not. That's what he said. I said, you'll regret that one day. Yeah, he will. And when, uh, when his dad's not there anymore, then he's going to have regret. And then, see, I me, mean, I don't hate nobody. I don't care. I don't want to hate nobody. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's something you don't want to do in life. It's like you go on and hate somebody the rest of your life because it poison you. <coughs> no. Oh, it was in December of, uh, 2017. Okay. Yeah, Bill, I know what you mean. <laughs> my, my, um, my mom and dad, my mom died when I was uh, seven and a half, almost eight. My dad died back when I was five. My dad owned a construction business. We had a backhoe, dozier, all kinds of equipment. And when he died, everything was sold, except for his old backhoe. I had it for a long time. And I was a kid playing on that backhoe. And uh, Mama didn't sell it. She kept that, keep around the house, and play, do stuff, haul motors. And because Mama, Mama used to haul cars and stuff, and she had a, she had a towing business. Mm -hmm. And... We kept the backhoe there, lift lift the uh, vehicles up because it is a, a backhoe is the most versatile machine, and she used she used it to pull motors out of a car. So go use the backhoe to pull it out. Mm -hmm. And um, when my when my mom died, um, the family back then decided to sell everything. That mama and daddy had and my dad had some musical instruments my mom did too my mom had a um had a uh, gibson guitar my sister ended up with it the one who told me that i was selfish and my dad's guitar was sold it was like a like a stretcher or something like that mm -hmm. Can't remember. Mm -hmm. It was. It was. It was a very expensive guitar. It was sold, and my sister, the one, got the money. The one who called me selfish. She ended up with my mama's. Right now, that guitar has it is so messed up that mm -hmm. it's not as unfixable. Mm. It's. It would take about two or three thousand dollars to fix it. Oh wow! Oh, wow. And 
Well, when I got when I got that one, I, when I bought it, I paid. I one of the guys told me said, "You just give me, you give me eight, give me eight hundred dollars, and the rest of the guys in the band bought, pay, put some in and, and bought that guitar for me." Okay. And, and before I had a Washburn guitar, and uh, Washburn's good guitars, and but the my after my dad died in '75, mm-hmm. my mom was at care of till I was like eight, and then when I come live here with my aunt in the old house over here. Uh, which old house burnt down many years ago. I was I was about seven and a half, eight when I started living with her. She took care she took care of my, me and my brother till we got grown and we started taking care of her. Wow. Well. Yeah. Yep, yeah. I, I, I know it's hard, but yeah, that's that's, that's when it gets so sad when you when you have an argument. You know, I've had an argument with my aunt, and and she she started crying. I about well, I ain't arguing with her no more. And one time, and I, I looked at her I, I, after I argued with her what about ten fifteen years ago. I looked at her. I said. I'm sorry. Right, right. I reached over and got her hand, and I and I, and I looked at her and, and I kissed her on the side of her. She said, "We won't argue no more." Oh, she was real upset, and I thought, "I don't want nothing to happen to you." Right, right. And and then ever since then, we never argued again. Mm-hmm. We always worked something out, and, and always. She was the one who was. She was the boss of the house, always been the boss. But when, but I started making decisions on things here, on different uh, other stuff. So my decisions were final. It was a joint between all of us, man. My brother, other brother, uh, which he passed away, but he didn't care. All they care about is smoking his cigarettes. And bless his heart, he passed away last year before last. Oh, okay. Had a heart attack. Wow. Ooh, I, so, you know, I got I got a, I got a guitar. It's it's not exactly a Les Paul, but it's it's a uh, um. It's a Washburn Unlimited. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I get it not sure. I, I, I ain't put, put it up yet. I ain't, I ain't got it. I ain't got the amps hooked up. Because if I did, I'm, I played it. But this is that guitar. She's a beauty. Oh, That's yeah. a JWL, George Bo- uh, George Washburn Limited. Wow. Not a scratch on it, right? And there might be a one or two scratches on it. but Oh, well, the headstock looks pretty good. Yeah, not a lot of wear there. Nice. nice. Uh, yeah. You know, I noticed that the, the, the tuners... But the intonation ain't never been set on it, but uh, I'm, I'm eventually going to do that. Ain't it good? It ain't, ain't going to sound it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I can't even play tonight for summer. It's out of tune, though. We need some up, up, uplifting music. Huh? We need some uplifting music. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I might get my other one out. Hey, uh, Bill, do you play guitar? 
Any other comments? I'm going to get my other guitar out. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, this, I've had this in, I've had this in about five or six years. Okay. I got it from a cousin of mine. And uh, he didn't know what he had. I got that in a little box, a little box amp over there. I got this little box right here. Yep. Yeah, the Vox are uh, pretty good amps. Got that little Vox amp with it, and uh, I gave you two hundred dollars for it. And uh, found out the guitar's worth more than that. Nice. Yeah, so Bill plays a little bit of guitar. What kind of guitar he got? Yeah, you have any guitars, Bill? I think I have a two-minute delay with the uh, chat on here. Mm-hmm. Is yeah, it, you is that, have, that normal? A couple of minutes late. That that's yeah. normal yeah. between between Streamyard and um, YouTube. 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 Yeah. Um, but before you see actually see the message that's being uh, displayed on the, um, it's about a minute or so after you see the dis on the display. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go grab some soup and then put it away. <laughs> I just forgot it was sitting in the pot. I go grab it. I should. All right, I'll be back. Yeah, leave your. Woke up this morning. Dreaming of you Got you on my mind All the time Ah, oh, dang, I messed up. <laughs> well, that's all right. That sounds pretty good, bud. Yeah, just, I ain't playing on been kind of rusty a little bit here lately. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I ain't played them about a week. My finger's getting. <laughs> Gotta have a little bit of fun. Good job, buddy. So while Bill here, I don't have a guitar anymore. I sold my Les Paul to a buddy that has a band. I thought he needed it more than me and get more use out of it. Well, Bill, Bill it's been a while since I played. It's been about two weeks just to scare with this junk. I ain't played any, so my hand's a little rusty. Well, that's like your like your basic chords or you can go down here where your your Where you bar playing your bar chords, you know, yeah. like your. Do you ever use a capo? Hmm. Do Do you ever use a capo? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, you got one there on your headstock. There you go. Yeah, I play with capo sometimes. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see. It. Let's see if I can do that. Oh. Mm. Thank you. 
one of one of uh, Don Williams songs. <laughs> Good old boys like me. Remember that one? Uh, by who? No, I, I really like that one. Yeah. Or I'm just gonna just play the. Uh, not, I ain't gonna sing or nothing. I'm just gonna play. Yep. yep. Nice, that's nice. I love that. Uh, yeah, that was good, man. Yeah, we play that one quite a bit. <clears throat> yeah, Wild Bill's uh, loving your sounds. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you know, like even like right here, uh, right now I'm playing. It, it's it's key of A is what I'm what I'm playing is. It's, it's still is G shape. Yeah, it's key of A. You can also go to key of A. I ain't played it in a while on that, but mm -hmm. if you if you look at it while you're playing like this chord here, mm -hmm. your G, your F uh, flat G, you can also go here. It's the same chord yeah. right there. And you know, all you do is just play that. Yeah, but you're tuned up. Like E minor shape is it, G. Yeah. And like you just hear A, E, and you're like, you, yeah. normally it'd be an E minor, but it's an F, your, uh, your uh, F flat G. And then this here is a D chord, but it's able to C shape. Yeah. And, you know, well, I can't, I can't play it. Uh, one guy told me the other day, I said, dang it, man, yeah, here, here's your E, your, your E chord, mm -hmm. your A chord, and your D chord, and you, and you, you can play, and your B7. I messed up there, but. Yeah, yeah. But. I said, it's, it's not hard to do. It's just doing it, learn how to do it. And and when I, when I started out playing, I start playing the bar chord, like the F chord, and you're like, like for instance, like a. Summer of 69. There you go. Yeah. That's nice, eh? Good old Canadian boy there, Brian Adams. Yeah. Huh? I used to play that song all the time with a buddy of mine. Mm. Man, it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's a popular song. And you know, so there's, there's several ways of playing that last little part there too. Like your, like your, uh, you play your bar chord at your F chord. So you can play it, go down here, and then slide it down a full step to your B. Yeah. And you can come back. And then, oh, I messed up. But, all right, see, that's when I try a social knife when I screw up. All right, or you can go slide it down here. Like 
like that. Yep. Either way. It works. And you see, you play in an alternate keys, it's the same chord, like like right here, you're, uh, all right, darn it, here I'm screwing up now. But, see, I got you, you got your F chord, you go down to your F, dude, and you slide down to your B chord, and see, just you see, some guys go all the way down here and play it down here and here, all the way down. It, it, it's, it's several different ways you could play it. Yeah, the same key. No, no. And it, it don't matter what key it's in. Like you, like you like your B minor chord. That's really the only. There's there's certain other ways you could you could play that B minor. You can like like this right here, the B, and there's a, probably another way you can play that B, that that chord. I mean, there's several ways on the fretboard you can find it. Mm. Like, like say that you play in your E chord, your E major scale, down here on the E major scale, or uh, on down here. It's all over down fretboard. Yeah, yeah. No, I know there's all different positions you can play them. No. Yeah, Wild Bill here. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. enjoying. He's enjoying listening to you there. Yeah. Um, he likes heavy metal too, and and you know what, Bill? Uh, uh, that's what I grew up with. Um, I, know, was, I, I, I was a meddler I, when I, when I was younger. Like going into high school, I had the long hair, like all. Yeah, it is pretty long, and uh, I, I still like it. But as I get older, like I'm, I'm listening to more mainstream stuff too, and I still love metal, hard rock, you know, alternative. Yeah, even the '70s stuff. <laughs> there you go. Oh, CCR. I, I don't know if my drumming was in time. Could you hear it? Huh? Uh, I, I was drumming on my desk while you were playing. Could you hear it? I, I didn't hear it. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if it's in time. So <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't. Like, like uh, I don't know all this one, but I know some of it. Like. I can't remember all the song of, of, of uh, Proud Mary. But I can remember how to do. It's been a long time since I've done it. Yeah. I couldn't even do it, play that uh, several years ago. Yeah. Oh, we got Drew back. Yep. I'm just chatting with Bill here. Hold on. Oh heck, when I when I was a kid in my teens, I had long hair and all that stuff. I was about as wild as it get when I was little. Hmm. But I, I never got I was never in the music when I was a kid. Yeah, uh, no. care I I had ADHD from hell when I was a kid. And I never got into it. The uh, first band I ever listened to and first cassette I bought. Uh, so I was born in 1972. I don't know how old you are, Matt. Um, I, I'm going to be 48 next month. But uh, the first band I got introduced to was Motley Crue. So I don't know if you know that band or heard of them. I've heard of them. I've yeah. heard a lot of the, uh, 
I've never got in into the heavy stuff. I've heard some of it. I just couldn't understand. I couldn't hear the chords in it for some reason. Now there's some things I can I can like the, the slow country music. I can hear the chords and actually play along. But some stuff I if I can't hear it, I, I don't know what the hell I'm playing. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but uh, yeah, Monty yeah. Crew. Um, so. I, I actually have their first cassette here. It's always with me. Uh, and, and, and the reason for that is it's called Too Fast for Love. And the reason for that is uh, you can't see it here on the glare. I actually met the lead singer, Vince Neal, uh, just outside my town. He was playing locally, a solo tour. And uh, I seen him in the back parking lot, just walking out of the building by himself, me and uh, a couple buddies, and went and shook his hand, got his autograph on the cassette cover here. And uh, like I'll never forget that I have it right here, always with me. I'll be dang. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the only thing I can't even do that. Uh, I ain't never played those songs. I've always played the the. Um, I never had anybody teach actually sit down and teach me a lot of that a lot of songs. And some of it I couldn't get because my my finger wouldn't allow me to do it. Let's see. <laughs> that sounds awesome, man. Sounds yeah. Cool. yeah. But well, in, uh, yeah, basically what I'm playing now, like in my band, and as popular as just top forty. Uh, covers, so we're playing everything from uh, pretty much the 60s to present, and I'll just we, we try to be different. We try to do songs that not all the other bands play, you know, and yeah. uh, and uh, it's funny because uh, we'll do a lot of songs with female singers, but you know we have a male singer, and for some reason Phil, our singer, he just sounds really good when he does female songs, and uh, <laughs> and, and, it, and it creates attention. People seem to like it. And we do our own twist in our songs. It, you, you go. Have a little fun. Like like we do. Uh, we just learned uh, last month. Uh, you, you know that band Duran Duran. Have, have you guys heard of the band Duran Duran? I mm -hmm. have heard. Yeah. yeah. So so we're doing uh, our version of Hungry Like a Wolf from Duran Duran. I I never thought back then in the eighties when Duran Duran was head. I didn't listen to them. My sister did. I was I was in heavy metal. Stuff. But now I'm playing them. <laughs> yeah, for sure, Bill. Let's see here. Music barn. <laughs> Telephone ring and a quarter to nine. He was on the other end of the line. She never knew what each call may bring from a rodeo man. As far as I'm going to go with due to copyright reasons. Right, right, right. <laughs> Don't need that. Yeah. So how long are we staying on tonight? <laughs> yeah. Ten hour stream? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Hey, Mike. Uh, we'll do an all nighter here. There you go, Wild Bill. Hungry. Oh man. It's hungry like a wolf was my favorite song from Duran Duran. Let's see here. Let's yeah, see something here. It's funny, Bill, because back then I don't know if you heard me. Well, my sister was into Duran Duran and all that kind of stuff. I was into. Here's some I'm gonna make up for Drew. And uh, I never thought, like, now in my life, being in a band, that I would actually play Duran Duran, which, which is actually really fun because the bass lines are so funky. And... Drew woke up this morning, drinking my whiskey for whiskey. <laughs> sitting there. 
Left me for whiskey Sucking it totally dry <laughs> <laughs> Man, I guess that's why I had a bad headache this morning. Man. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Mm -hmm. uh, good stuff, Matt. That's uh, really good. Right. Mm -hmm. I can remember the lyrics to I just can't get my voice in that sometimes. Silver wings shining in the sunlight, rolling in just a weird light. Right. Mm -hmm. We do that song a lot. Right on. Oh, Bill, you're talking about uh, Too Fast for Love, Motley Crue. There, can, you see the <laughs> there in his crotch? can you see it in his crotch there in the picture? Vince Neal's that uh, autograph. Yeah, I guess we got a lot in common there, Bill. I can't. Some of those things I can't. Sometimes I can't do it. <laughs> Have a little fun. Yeah, see you, uh, Mike. Take I care, guess, Mike. I guess Mike was watching us there, and he's got to go. No, Darren, Darren. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Matt, do you know any uh, Duran Duran? Well, mostly uh, country and a little bit, a little bit of rock and roll. Uh, like Bill wants you to play some Duran Duran right now. I don't know how. <laughs> hey, you know, if I if I don't know how to play some, I admit I don't uh, know how to play it. Yeah. I lost oh. it. I don't know how to play. Oh, hey, it just popped my mind there. Did you hear about Johnny Cash? Eh, not really, but. <laughs> but uh, he passed the only away. thing, only thing I know of. It, of um, if I can remember how to do that B7 that he, I don't even know if I can do that now. Oh, American Pie. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, did you guys hear about Johnny Cash today? Uh, yeah, he passed away. I don't know any oh, Johnny really? Cash. Yeah. yeah. Darn. He's, he's no longer with us, Matt. Hmm. Johnny Cash, he passed away today. I thought Johnny Cash was already dead. No. Man, I need some properties from MRP. Yeah. Yeah, he seems to uh, be rocking and rolling it. And... Mm hmm. I'm waiting to hear back from this other commercial I bidded. Right on. How, how big is it? Uh, if I was to guess, it'll probably take me, if it's just me to do it, um, probably mm, two and a half hours, maybe. Three tops. Oh, okay. Nothing too crazy, but... Yeah. Might be a little bit more, depending. I don't know. It's just rough. At, at the most, I would say four at the most, but... Okay. We play that song a lot. Yeah. Knock on Heaven's Door. Yep. Yeah. We've done my, Marigaville and all them a lot. My uh, my seventeen year old son, he's just learning that on acoustic guitar right now. So he's uh he's self taught, super smart guy. I'm telling you, he he can just yeah he he's learning online. I I told him I said Justin, you want you want to get a uh, uh, your guitar sage is a good teacher. Yeah, right. Like what, go to lessons and stuff. He's like no, nope. and uh, he's just learning everything on his own online and 
he's determined. And just watching him over the last couple of years, it's only been two years he's playing, starting off like, you know, looking at a piece of paper and whatever, and then looking at his phone on Facebook. Now he's going through three chords and playing three songs. You know, so I, I can't even do what he does. I, I can't do proper chords like what uh, Matt's doing right now. Ah, uh, he's passing up the old man. <laughs> That's why I play Teddy. Some days I can do fine. I just ain't playing in about a week. My hands is hurting a little bit, and mm -hmm. kind of hard for me to play. Same thing for me. Uh, we usually practice on Sunday afternoons, but the virus is going around. The last two weekends we didn't do. We're not practicing tomorrow. And if I don't play that much, at the end of my finger, finger is off. Where did, I, where did my pick go? Oh, did you drop it in your guitar? No, I, I, lay, I laid it down. <laughs> I like this little melody when we're practicing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Warms your hands up. Yeah. Uh, some we do that sometime when we're warming up and and uh, or um, we do that one between like a. Between, a, between those two notes. Yeah. yeah. Warm up. <clears throat> we got a mandolin player that plays in our band. And, and we got a we got the one of the main guitarists Harvey got a mandolin player, a bass player, and uh, me and Harvey sometimes play. Uh, we do Amanda, we do a couple other songs together, and then then I do Wagon Wheel when I'm when I'm playing with him, and and I do the song that I wrote. Uh, I wrote my aunt. And uh, and a couple other songs, which sometimes I forget. Dang thing, don't know. <laughs> That's pretty bad sometimes. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like knocking on heaven's door. That's a good song. Oh yeah, for sure. A lot of, you know, a lot of people don't know who wrote that song. Mm -hmm. Everybody thinks Guns N' Roses wrote it. Nope. <laughs> I know. Bob Dylan wrote it. Oh, I know that. No, mm -hmm. Bob Dylan wrote it. He wrote a lot. Rock Me Mama was the original song to uh, of the uh, of the other song Wagon Wheel. Mm. Mm. Original. Old Madison Crew finished it. Darius Rucker didn't finish. He just changed it to a country riff. Mm. Uh, he he changed it uh, to a country style riff, and there's there's several ways. You can do it in key of A, key of G, key of, no matter what, core, what progression you play it in, is is what your voice is in. Yeah, I play it in key of G a lot. Cool. You know, it originally was written in key of A. It was, um, it was written like earlier. I said. Here I'm good. messing up. 
We're in that in that key. Yeah. And and but you all you gotta do if you want to play that capo on second fret and play the same uh same rhythm but it it's different different key. Yep. Like at like at several wings earlier while playing. Mm-hmm. I think it's getting past his bedtime over there. Who's bedtime there? You can play right. and go down the D chord. <laughs> okay. And, I've got some stripes behind me. Mm-hmm. I was going to show Bill, uh, 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 I was gonna show Bill uh, he was talking about the 30-inch Toro. Uh, this one I do in the 30-inch Toro. I was going to say, is that 30-inch? Yeah. Yeah. This, this one stripes on really nice. They do have an irrigation system on it, too, so it's watered all the time. I don't know if Bill is still here. That sounds familiar. and all this little entertainment here. <laughs> I gotta have a little fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm really enjoying it, but it's almost like a bedtime story, you know? I know, mm-hmm. fall asleep like... No, I'm not falling asleep because it's boring. It's just, it, it's, it's kind of like... It's hypnotizing and, and it's soothing. Yeah. You know, it's making me feel good. Take care a while, Bill. I'll be back. Uh, what do you say here? Hold on. Let's bring this up. I hate to go, Mike, but I promised Steve Worley I would stop in and chat. So glad we were live. And the next time I will come on the panel. It was fun. Good night, Mike, Matt, and Drew. All right, Bill. Take All care, right, buddy. we'll see how you are, Bill. All right, Thanks, whatever. Thanks, Bill, for your support, bud, and uh, we'll talk to you we'll soon. We'll see you next time. Take care, bud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe I might we're be live. We're still live. Too. Yeah, we'll still be alive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it might be live, but yeah, we're all going to be there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I especially will be after I eat some of the soup and stuff. I'll be like. Yeah, yeah but before you go, I don't know if you're still here because it's showing one in here. That, that lawn behind me there, that's what the uh, Toro Time Master. Uh, the, the Toro Strike. He fell on his head. He don't know where the hell he's going. Mama, he fell on his head. Uh <laughs> I said, Mama, he fell in his head. What? Mama? All right, Bill. Boom. What a job. I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> that, that's not my thing. Nope. What's that? I just did like a lap of jaw, just, just trying to be funny. Yeah, that was true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start throwing uh, guitar picks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I got one right around here somewhere. I ain't played it in a while. There's old music today ain't what it used to be. I like some good old rock and rock. Nope. I can't even find the damn chord I will play. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing fine, buddy. Uh, You're doing fine. Uh, 
and I can't find the chords I want to play. <laughs> Music they play today ain't like it used to be. Old country music ain't the same like it used to be. I want to hear some good old rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, just, I, I just wasn't in the right key I want to play in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um. Uh, it's it's putting some of the power chords are tough on me. But see, I don't have no distortion pedal and all that stuff either. You don't need that on an acoustic pedal. guitar. Huh? You don't need that on an acoustic guitar. Nah. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. no. that gets Most we play on acoustic, we play a lot of country old. Oh, mm -hmm. um. Oh, it's just the three of us now. Nobody's watching. Uh, can Can you hear any regular radio music by any chance? No. Okay, good. Okay. You know, we have someone That's jamming hard. in the background over there. And, oh, do you? Yeah, and I just want to make sure, you know. Uh, so you can hear me okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't think Matt can hear us while he's playing. Can you hear us, Matt, while you're playing? I can hear. Uh, I can hear him, but I don't. I just don't want you to, uh, you know, get a copyright, you know. That's all good. I'm not too concerned about it. You gotta make like a million years to get four thousand watch hours. So. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You know. I was just looking at I thought it was 2,000. I'm like, oh, shit, you need 4,000 hours. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, it used How to be How many watch hours you got now? I don't know. It used to be 2,000. They jacked it up to four. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'm not too concerned about it. Just whatever, you know, and I don't probably, have a lot of subscribers. Probably a little, bit of, a little bit of blue riff, but I ain't that good at playing it. Yeah. Uh, Pressure, we're all watching you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there was Beth Lanka running down the street, lost his pair of shoes. Yeah. <laughs> just don't smash your guitar it's kind of no right. i don't do i don't do no smash okay that's something i don't do too damn no. expensive to smash no yeah or run them over with your more i have run that <laughs> i've actually works. run over i actually run over um an old radio with a dozer before nice must damn thing still work? Yeah, <laughs> buried it in the ground about that far. It didn't hurt. It didn't hurt anything. It just ground soft, and it didn't hurt it. Wow. Must have been I was, old I was school the radio. On it would have messed up pretty good. <laughs> I just like playing around this the E chord. Play around that E pentatonic scale. Yeah. 
Or around the eight-pound dog scale. Oh. <laughs> I got an acoustic uh, bass here, Ibanez. Uh huh. Uh, I like to give me a bass. That's nice. I like that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. when I, when I'm learning a new song, I'll kind of fart around on this thing. Yeah, I think we're in tune. I'll tell you what we do. We're gonna be in key. Um, so key, of, uh, key of G. See the G? I woke up this morning thinking about you. Got you on my mind. Hey, Drew, can you hear the bass? Mm -hmm. That was good. Is it in time? Uh, not really. Probably not. Uh, I'm not going to play. No, no, I was asking Drew if he can hear the bass because I was playing along with you and just to see if it's in time. I, I can barely hear, hear it. Hear uh... it. Because it'll be a slight delay, so I don't think it'll be in, in time. Woke up this morning thinking about you. Got your picture on the wall. I got you on my mind. I was just thinking about you, sitting here playing this so six string. I will always love you down in my heart. You were the love of my life I'll never forget you all my life I'm sitting here picking this old six string playing all this little song about You were the love of my life. I'll never forget you. <laughs> nice. That's one little song I done for her. Yeah. No. I was just chatting with uh, Otto. I said it's still live. Matt's playing guitar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <coming> back. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's all coming back to you now, eh? Yeah. So you yeah. got any plans tomorrow, Drew? No. No. Being with this uh, circumstance that's going on, no. I know. I mean, I'm so, debating uh, still about going to the store this week, and I need to get some parts for my mower still. I need to get a belt. Before it breaks. I'll just go.
be back here shortly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Some quick. Yeah. Have a little fun. Yeah. No, for sure, man. Yeah. I'm not the best guitarist in the world, but I'm going <laughs> to sell. Well, you're a hell of a lot better than I am, so. There's a lot of things I still can't play. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I remember, say. I remember back in the day when I was a kid. Messed up, damn it. I remember back in the day when I was a kid. I turn and play a old old road. Right, let me go with it. Old yeah. Curtis Lowe was a black man. He used to play that old old road. Used to play the blues. I can remember I can play some of it, but I can't play all of it. I don't remember the rest of it. Uh, oh, yeah. And that song, that song right there was just, you, you can play a several, even when. The same way, even down here, same, it does the same, gives a fuller sound. Like that, or you just play it right here. Yep. Well, same damn lyrics, same same thing. Uh, corporation, just different lights on the neck. Yeah, yeah. No, it sounds good. Um, then you got to throw a few little like you got the D chord in it, some and A and E. That song was played in key of E anyway. I mean, if I said the the uh, chord progression right there in front of me, but I don't I don't have it up my tabs. Uh, you know, I'd like to be able to develop the play by ear. That's pretty hard for me. That's all I do right now. I play by ear. Yeah. I uh, I learned reading music, but I can't read anymore. I just play by ear. Yeah, it's been a while since I've even played that damn song. I forgot how it goes. Yeah, yep. that's a good song. I really like that one. I can botch it up pretty good. <laughs> oh. Though somebody wonder if I can't botch it up good, I ain't doing it right. Ah. <laughs> Everybody's just just cracked up laughing. Mm.
I can't remember. Can't remember the chords after that one. Oh, okay. Have you hey, seen you... the rain? I'm sorry. Have you seen the song? Yeah. Coming down on the rain. I can't remember the the rest. No. Let's see it go. I've been so long since I played, I about forgot the damn lyric, the uh, chords to it. Uh, you know what, Matt? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go check at Warley's live. I'm gonna check in over with him too. Yeah, he's uh, he's live right now, and uh, everybody's in there right now. Jim's actually in there, right? Eh? All right. And, hey, have uh, fun. Okay, so we'll, we'll see you in a bit. All right, bud. Take care of yourself. Yeah. All right, you too, buddy. Hi. Hey, Drew. I don't know if you can hear me. Um, yeah, thanks for coming in. We're going to be uh, going over to Warley's live and just say hey in there. I'm not going to stay up too much longer. Anyway, everybody, peace out.